How are you guys doing? You all good? We wanted to go for a walk with Mom. Are you coming? Yes, of course we'll come with you. It's beautiful weather today, isn't it? Yes. It makes me want to go to the pond and swim in it. Daddy, you're right. I totally agree with you. Why don't we go take the boat out for a swim? Can we play on the playground, please? Yeah, Dad. May I? We'll be very careful. Yeah, sure. Go for a little walk, but be careful. Did you hear what you were told? Just be careful and don't fight. Run to the playground. Hey, Mikey, look at my beautiful ball. What? Who's yelling? Do you hear that, Mikey? Oh, there's something going on. Is Mom yelling at someone? What's going on in there? JJ, I don't like this. Mikey, just don't worry, please. Oh, JJ. I'm getting dizzy and dark in my eyes. I'm not feeling very well. What? Ah, uh, Mikey, what's wrong with you? Do you guys know what's wrong with him? Maybe he passed out from this infernal heat? Mikey, get up. We got to get the grown-ups. Mom, Dad, there's, there's Mikey. He's down. He won't get up. What? How did this happen? Where is he? We were just playing. And then he said he not good and fell down. Let's go. We have to help him. Come on, hurry up. Oh no, Mikey, we told you to be careful. Oh no, son, I can't believe it. Mom, Dad, it's not my fault. I swear to you. I believe you, son. Honey, call an ambulance. We'll stay with Mikey. Oh no, Mikey, what happened to you? Here comes the ambulance. Quick, over here. My son is unconscious. So, tell me what happened. The kids were playing on the playground. Mikey got sick and fainted and won't regain consciousness. Yeah, I get it. We need to get him to a hospital right now. Guys, Mikey's in the hospital. I'm really worried about him. What do you think is wrong with him? Is he gonna be okay? Let's go check on him. There's his room. Mom, Dad, how's Mikey? Son, we don't know. We're waiting to hear what the doctors have to say. Mikey, come on, wake up. What? What's that sound? Oh no, this can't be happening. I can't believe my eyes. Uh, Mikey, don't leave us. Oh no, son, no way. You're so young. Mikey, it's my fault. A doctor, doctor over here. Honey, there's nothing a doctor can do. Oh no, we lost him, no way. Mom, Dad, what's going on? <laughs> Darling, don't cry. Come to me. This is all my fault. I shouldn't have left them alone. If it wasn't for me, this wouldn't have happened. I think I know what happened. Oh, no. Mikey, no way. Why did this happen to him? He's so young. How could I not watch out for him? I can't believe I'll be without him. Mikey, no. No, no, no. It's all my fault. We love you, son. We'll miss you. No, Mikey, don't leave. Please. Don't be mad at us. We love you very much. Goodbye. Mom? Daddy, I'm going to my room. They're in no mood. I won't bother them. How quiet it's gotten now, and boring. What am I going to do now without my brother? These toys remind me of Mikey. Oh, that's the same rocket we used to play with. <laughs> it's a beautiful rocket, isn't it, Mikey? Yes, I like her a lot too.
Yeah, it was the best time ever. What about now? What am I going to do without him? And this TV we watched every day. It was probably the best time ever. It's my favorite cartoon ever. How did you guess? I knew you'd like it, so I put it on. Thank you, JJ. You're my best brother. <laughs> what? It turned itself on. Oh my god, the door's open. I was so scared. Guys, it looks like there's a ghost in here. I'm so afraid. What am I gonna do? Maybe it's Mikey's spirit. Oh no, I'm so scared. I never thought I'd see anything like that. Guys, I think I'm gonna go check his room. See if his spirit's in there. What? Now it's shutting itself off. Now, all that's definitely left to do is check out his room. But I'm still pretty scared. And on the other hand, you never know until you test it. Oh, it's so creepy in here. Okay, no one's here yet, and the stuff's in place. Oh my god, what? It says, I miss you. That's definitely Mikey's spirit. Come out, where are you? Mikey, where are you? Mikey, are you up there? Come down. Mikey, is that really you? But how? You were buried. How did you end up here? I don't understand anything. Yes, JJ, it's really me. Don't blame yourself that I'm gone. I didn't mean to upset you. I love you, JJ. And I love you, Mikey. But why aren't you in heaven yet? Why are you here? I couldn't just leave you. I had to say goodbye to you and tell you that I'm going to miss you so much. Mikey, how am I going to be without you? Who am I going to play with now? JJ, I'm sure you can do it. Mom, Dad, I'm sorry. You had to be so nervous about me. Mikey, is that really you? Son, what are you doing here? We missed you so much. I came so we could see each other one last time to say goodbye to you. Don't worry about me. I'll be fine now. Maybe we'll see each other again. But now, I have to leave. Unfortunately, I don't have time to stay. We understand you, son. I love you. Goodbye. No, Mikey, don't leave us. Please, I can't be without you. JJ, I'm sure you'll get through all the challenges. Mom and Dad, you love and cherish each other. No, don't leave us. Son, wait. Stay a little longer. Honey, son, let's go out on the balcony. Say goodbye to Mikey. Mikey, you have always been my best friend and brother. We're gonna miss you. We love you, Mikey. I will never tell anyone our secret. I promise you. What? What a secret, son. Dad, I said I'll never tell anyone, ever. I hear you. Then, let's say goodbye to Mikey. Goodbye, brother. <laughs> Today is Mikey and I's first day of school after summer vacation. We missed her so much, didn't we, Mikey? Yes, JJ, it's true. I really miss school. I wonder where they called our teacher. She's been gone for half a lesson. That's right, Mikey. I didn't even notice it. Perhaps the principal has called everyone into an emergency meeting, but for what reason? Hmm, I wonder. If so, that would be great. We haven't gone anywhere in a while, and here comes our teacher. Guys, I come to you with news. We can go on an excursion to the mountains. There will be very interesting, you will be told ancient stories. Show the traditions of the locals, and you can leave your mark on one of the mountains, making a print of your hand with paint. The cost of the excursion is five diamonds. Talk to your parents and those who will go. I am waiting tomorrow at nine o'clock at the bus stop. And do not be late, I ask you. Otherwise, we will leave without you. Guys, class is over. I'll see you tomorrow at nine o'clock. Mikey, you were right. We're going on a field trip. Yes! That's what I thought! It's been so long since we've been anywhere with the class. Let's hurry home and ask Mom and Dad for 10 diamonds for the field trip. I'm sure they won't say no. Yeah, you're right. I don't think we'll be turned down this time either. Let's hurry home. They always give us diamonds on our field trips. Yes, I think this time will be no exception. Here we are outside the house. I hope our parents will be home. I think... They've already come home from work. Let's hurry up and ask them if they'll let us go on a field trip this time. All right. Only this time you ask them, for I asked them last time. So let's go in the house. Dad, Mom, come here. We have something to talk to you about. Is something wrong? 
Did something happen at school? Did someone hurt you? No, you've got it all wrong. It's fine, but... Just, JJ wanted to tell you that we're having a field trip, and we need ten diamonds for two. Honey, give our kids diamonds for the trip. Okay, boys, here. Take your ten diamonds for the trip. Wow, thank you so much. Mom, Dad, we love you. You are the best parents in the world. Yes, JJ is telling the truth. You're the best. That's because you're our best kids. Go get some rest. JJ, we have the best parents. They gave us ten diamonds. Now let's go to our room to rest, for tomorrow will be a long day. Yes, I totally agree with you. We need to get some rest tonight before we go tomorrow. Before we go on rest, we'll need to pack for the trip. Take something we can use. I'll go pack my rucksack, too. All right, Mikey. I'll get it all together now. Guys, how do you think our trip's gonna go? Do you go on field trips with your class? Let me know in the comments what you liked best. And I'm gonna go pack. The next day. Kids, did you forget anything at home? No, we got it all. Here we are. Your bus is coming soon. I wish the bus would come soon. Let's go to parents' bus stop. Yeah, let's go to them. Guys, listen carefully to what you're told on the tour. Try to memorize all the information. Okay, Dad. That's what we'll do. And be very careful there. And don't stray anywhere from the tour guide. Look! There goes our bus! Finally! I thought we'd been forgotten! Yay! We finally got him! Now, we don't have to worry about not leaving. Boys, be very careful. If something happens, be sure to call us. Do you understand me? Yeah, Mom! Yes, of course! Mom, Dad, we gotta go! Bye! Bye! We love you! Mikey, wait for me! What's wrong? Don't you think the parents look a little sad? JJ, they're always like this when we go away. So, it's okay. Get in your seat. We're leaving. Mom, Dad, we'll miss you. Don't get too upset. We'll be careful. We'll call you when we get there. Okay, son. We'll miss you guys, too. Obey your guide. And stay close to everyone. We love you. Bye. Bye, guys. Be careful. Mikey, what are you looking forward to on this tour? I don't know. We've never been on one of these tours before, have you? I expect it to be very beautiful there. See the local flora and fauna, and also make new acquaintances. Look, it's the gas station we went to with parents. It's true. I remember her. They used to buy us candy for the road. Right, and I didn't remember that. How long do you think it'll take us to get to our destination? I don't know, JJ, but I hope we don't have long to go. I hope so, too. Oh, I'm so very tired. I really want to go to sleep now. And so, the pulse is very weak, but it's there. We need to get them to the hospital right away. The sooner the better. Oh no, no way, are we dead? But how? I don't remember anything. What about Mikey? Where is he? JJ, where are we? What happened to us? I don't remember anything. Who are these people? Why don't you explain to me? What's going on here? Mikey, it looks like we've become ghosts. JJ, look, our parents' car is coming. Let's go to them quickly. Maybe they'll see us. Daddy! Mommy, we're here! Can you see us? We're in front of you! Oh no! Our children! How did this happen to them? Comrade policeman, how did this happen? Can you explain? Of course. Their bus fell off that bridge. The driver probably fell asleep at the wheel. Oh no! Our children! What's wrong with them now? Are they dead? No! Your children are alive! But they're in a very cretinous condition. In what's called a coma. 
They need to be taken to the hospital and put on a ventilator. What? Are we in a coma? I'm waiting for you at the hospital. I'm going to accompany him to get there faster. No way. I can't believe my eyes. Mikey, we'll have to get to the hospital too. But first, let's try to get a hold of our parents. JJ, I think it's futile, but let's give it a try. Mom, Dad, we're here. Can you hear us? Mom, Dad, pay attention to us. We're in front of you. Can you see us? Hey, Mikey, stop. They can't hear us or see us. JJ, then we need to get to the hospital. Maybe we can work something out. Okay. Mikey, one thing that makes me happy is that at least we're still alive. Oh, my babies. I still don't believe it. JJ, what do we do now? I don't have any ideas. Dear parents, I have some bad news for you. Your children are in a very serious condition. Doctor, what is their diagnosis? JJ, did you hear that? We are in very bad shape. What should we do? Your children are in a death coma. I'm going to consult with my colleagues and you can pray for them in the meantime. Oh my God, oh no. JJ, what are we gonna do? We're in a death coma. Honey, it's gonna be okay. Don't worry, the doctor will figure something out. My boys, I love you so much. Why did this happen to you? Honey, let's pray for them. Mikey, we gotta figure something out. Hmm, oh, I got it. Look, they said something about prayers. God, what if we go to God and talk to him? Maybe he could help us come back to life. I think it would help, especially since we don't have any other options. Let's go find him. Mikey, are you sure that's gonna help us? JJ, we don't really have any other options, so let's go check it out. So, how do we find him? Mikey, do you have any ideas? Hmm, yeah, I got an idea. Let's go over there. Mikey, are you sure about this? Do you have a better idea? So, my idea is to call out to him until he hears us. Hey God, if you can hear us, take us to your house. Yes, take us away. Ah! Uh. Mikey, where are we? Hmm, interesting, interesting. This place is so beautiful and bright. <gasps> JJ, we're where we wanted to be. Wait, what? Look over there, JJ. Wow, they have halos over their heads. Those statues look so noble. Yeah, and they also look weird. Oh, what? Why are they reaching for each other with their hands? These guys are guarding the gate. Mikey doesn't understand anything. What are you saying? Forget it, Mikey. Oh, we're almost to the gate. I am very curious to know what is behind that door. Yeah, I'm curious too. JJ, let's hurry up. Mikey, what's your hurry? Well, oh, these guys scare me a little bit. Don't don't worry, JJ. If you haven't done anything wrong, you'll be fine. Oh, I sure hope so. Yay! This place is so special after all. What? Not again. <gasps> I'm a skibbity toilet god of this place. Oh! What are you people doing here? Uh, are you a good god or an evil god? Hmm. Huh, what do you think? Oh my god. JJ, what are we gonna do? I don't know. I don't trust him. Hmm. He doesn't look kind at all. Well... No, you're evil. Huh, how did you guess? Uh, look at this, you little boys. Oh my god! Ah, uh, who called me? <gasps> oh, save me. I'm locked in here. Oh! That evil toilet god did this to me. Wow. Please What's the matter, me? Mikey? Well, that's kind of weird. Let's fight him. Yes, I agree with you, but it's weird that God can't free himself. Yes, but we have to help. Yeah, let's do it. There's nothing you can do to me. Attack! Hi no, ah! Yeah, there's no evil god now. Cool. Uh, that was kind of easy. Look, Mikey, are we that strong or was that god that weak? Mm. Did you guys remember me? Oh, that's right, Mikey. Will you release him? Okay, okay. Thank you so much for the rescue. You're welcome. We had to do it. Oh, the fresh air, heavenly skies, beautiful. Yay! In gratitude for my rescue, I'm willing to give you the most precious thing in the world. Whoa, what's that? I don't know, but if it's something from God himself... This must be something cool. I give you a second life. <gasps> oh, my God. Huh, I'm glad you keep mentioning me. Now it's time for you both to go home. Enjoy life and take care of it. Oh my god. Oh, is this a hospital? Hey guys, we did it. We were able to get back to our parents. I'm so glad we were able to make it back. Hey, mom, dad, we're back. Mikey, JJ, we're so glad you're okay. We have been helped by a lovely person back here. You finally come to your senses. We're so glad. We were so worried about you. We missed you so much. Words can't express it. We missed you guys a lot, too. The next day... I'm gonna run to Mikey's. Hey, JJ. Hi, Mikey. Let's hurry home. Mom's making a delicious lunch. Wow, I was just getting hungry. Yeah. I can already smell the wonderful smell of food. Yeah, I'm really hungry, too. 
I think our mom is making roast turkey with lemon honey sauce and rice on the side. Huh. I don't think our mom put that much effort into cooking. <gasps> Are you doubting our mom's abilities? No. Yeah, JJ, because you said so yourself. That's not what I meant. And I'm gonna tell our mom. You won't do it. I'll do it. Uh, hi, mom. Hi. And dad, hi. Hi. What do you mean you're gonna do it? Mom and JJ oh said my you God. can't. Boys, wait. Daddy and I have news for you. I'm saved. Yes. We wanted to give you a little surprise. We're going to the park today for a picnic. Oh. So that's why there was such a wonderful smell coming from the house. Huh, that's good to hear. Thanks for not telling her, Mikey. It's okay, I was kidding, JJ. <clears throat> well, we're ready to go. Oh, well, now that you've talked enough and are ready to go, we have no choice but to go. Huh, okay, Dad. Our dad is so funny. You look just like him. I don't know what you're talking about. Kids, don't be long. Okay, Mom, we're on our way. Let's go, JJ. <laughs> we're gonna go fast. So try to keep up with us, okay? Okay, Mom. Wow, looks like we're in for a sports vacation today. Uh, kids, hurry up. Oh, but I don't want sports. JJ, that was a joke. Oh, no. It's gonna be awesome. It took us a while, but here we are at the entrance to the park. Wow. Yeah. Well, guys, aren't you tired of walking yet? I'm a little tired. I'm fine. Well, we still have a little way to go. Mommy, how much further do we have to go? Oh, just a little bit. Three miles. Oh, Mikey, don't joke around. Hee hee hee. It's not true, is it? Don't worry. We don't have that far to go. Hmm. Yeah, JJ, that was 100% a joke. Mikey, with jokes like that, I'm going to stop believing you. Huh? I doubt it. You'll see. Oh, how beautiful this lake is. Blue water, clear shore. I could sit here all day. Huh, we're definitely not going to be here all day. Dad, but why? There's so much food and so many drinks. I could totally sit here all day. That's because I have another surprise for you. Oh! Hmm, interesting, interesting. Come on, show them. So here comes the surprise. <gasps> I bought bicycles for our whole family. Oh my God. Dad, this is the best surprise ever. Yeah. Are there really bicycles for me and JJ? Hmm, of course I bought a bicycle for each of you too. Cool. So we can all ride around this beautiful park together. Wow, Dad, that's really cool. I love it. Yay, they love the surprise. Oh yes, let's go for a ride in the park in this beautiful sunny weather. Hmm, we really lucked out with the weather. They just didn't promise rain today. That's good. Yeah, that's good. Huh, what? Oh, why is it raining? It's very strange because it wasn't supposed to rain. Oh, I don't like it. Mom, I'm scared. We can get out of here as soon as possible. Of course. We're getting out of here right now. Okay. Come on, let's get on our bicycles and go. Come on, you both mustn't get sick. Okay, Mom. Let's hurry up. Okay, let's go. Mikey, I have a really bad feeling about this. JJ, it's just rain. Let's go. Hmm. Okay, if everyone's ready, let's go. Kids, keep up. It feels like something's wrong. Let's go, JJ. Was it just me or did I just see lightning flashing? If there's a thunderstorm, I'm absolutely terrified. Mikey doesn't even care about what's going on. I just hate loud noises, the horror. I really hope everything goes well. I just want to get out of here as soon as possible. JJ, keep up. Okay. Guys, we're approaching the bridge. Be careful. Okay, Dad. It's raining so hard. Wait for me. Hmm, it's not so bad to ride in the rain. Honey, you have to understand the risks we're taking. Oh, my us. God. Oh, come on. It's going to be okay. We can all get sick. Yay, rain. Oh, my God. I want to go home. Whoa, there's a thunderstorm. Guys, let's hurry it up. Hurry up, hurry up. Mom, it's not that scary. Zippers are very dangerous. Ah! Ouch. What was that? Oh, JJ. Mikey? <laughs> How could this happen, my brother? Mikey, don't cry. I'm okay. Look. Uh... JJ, get up. Oh, my God. <laughs> what is this? I've become a ghost. How could this happen? JJ, we're sorry. Mikey, I'm here. <laughs> we're sorry we brought you here. Mikey. I didn't mean for this to happen. I'm sorry. It's not your fault. Oh, Mom and Dad. <laughs> Mikey, what happened? Mikey. Mommy, Daddy. This is a nightmare, darling. Dad, I'm here. Our son. JJ, my boy, I'm sorry for our adventure. We shouldn't have come here. <laughs> Mikey, no one is to blame for this situation. You're right, Dad. We'll take JJ with us and give his body a decent burial. Isn't there anything more that can be done? No, my brother. But I'm here. Why can't they see me? Even though I'm a ghost now, I want to be seen. Mom and Dad, I'm so scared without you. My son wasn't athletic at all, but there were lots of things I wanted to teach him. JJ, you were the best brother ever. You always protected me, thank you. My son, you were the most adorable baby in the world. May you never be troubled again. Yes, and I'd like to say something. Are you all crazy? I'm still here. Don't keep me before my time. Beautiful baby. Yes. Uh, they can't hear me at all. Hmm, the photo's good. But I want to talk to you, Mom. And you, Dad. And Mikey. Mom, I'm already a little cold. Yeah, I think we should go. Dad, no. Mm. 
Mom, tell him. Yeah, I think we should go too. I'm right here, right next to you. Don't go, please. My son. JJ, we'll come and see you. You have our word. Yes, we'll come once a week. It's decided, then we should go. Oh, huh? Mom and Dad, you both just walk away from me so easily. Uh, Mikey? JJ, if you're still here, please let us know. Uh, I miss you so much, Mikey. We should go home now. I'm on my way. Hmm, <clears throat> Mikey, I really miss you all too. So I'll let you know I'm still around. I'll act like a real ghost. Huh, I'll show you the full power of a disgruntled ghost. Just don't be afraid of me. Two hours later. Hey, wait for me. Mom, Dad, can you hear me? Mikey, at least pay attention to me. I can't be alone anymore. I need to talk to you. Oh, I can't believe our little boy is no longer with us. What do you mean, you're not with me? Here I am, in front of you. I can't open doors? Wait, I'm a ghost. I can walk through walls. Yay, I did it. Honey, I realize this is hard for you as much as it is for me, but I don't think JJ would want you to suffer. I think you're right. Mom, Dad, I'm here, in front of you. Pay attention to me. I think it's all to no avail. We should go up to Mikey's and try to talk to him. I hope Mikey is in our room right now. I still can't get used to having to go through walls. Here I am in the room. Mikey's here too. Hey, Mikey, can you hear me? It's me, JJ. Talk to me. This doesn't seem to be working. We gotta find a way to get his attention. Oh, it's chalk. We should write something on the wall like, Mikey, I'm here. I hope it works. That's it. I think it's pretty good. Now, I gotta get Mikey to look at that sign. Hey, Mikey, look at the wall. Come on, that's the only way. You'll know I'm here. What? Where did that sign come from? Mikey, I'm here. No way. Maybe JJ wrote it? Hmm, I should tell my parents. Mom! Dad! There! There's JJ wrote a sign on the wall. Come on, I'll show it to you. What? Son, I know it's hard for you right now, but JJ died. But I'm telling the truth. Mikey. Wait a second, Mikey, and they'll believe you. Let me get the plates. Son, JJ will always be in our hearts, but he is no longer with us. What? What is this? It's Ghost. Honey, it can't be Ghost. I told you, it's JJ. He's the one throwing plates to get our attention. Mikey, this can't be happening. It's a picture from the picnic. I should give it to them so they know it's me. I don't believe it's JJ either. Maybe this will make you believe? What? Where did the picture come from? That's the same picture JJ and I took at the picnic. Maybe it's a sign. Maybe JJ's waiting for us at that place. Let's go there, please. Oh, honey, maybe he's right. Let's go check it out. Get a picnic basket too. Okay, dear. Mikey, let's go take a look. Yay, you believed me. Let's go over there. Maybe he's already waiting for us. You're right, Mikey. Come on, hurry up. Finally, they figured it out. I hope they can see me and I'll tell them everything. I didn't get a chance to tell them then. JJ, you in here? Son, come on. Where are you? We're here for you. Hey, I'm here. Can you even hear me? What? It's raining like last time. JJ, it's really you? I can't believe my eyes. Son, we miss you so much. It seems when it rains, they can see me. My family, I love you so much. You gave me the best years of my life. I'm sorry, I left you so soon. I'll miss you. Son, I'm sorry if anything was wrong. We'll remember you for the rest of our lives. I'm sorry again. JJ, we love you too. Don't apologize. It's okay. Come here, I want to hug you before you go. Come on, Mikey, I want to hug you too. JJ, don't leave us. I beg you, you'll be the best brother in the world. We love you. You're the best brother in the world, too. But I gotta go. I love you, too. <laughs> Don't go. I'm begging you. Six months later. Oh, I haven't been here in six months. This place just makes me sad. All right, I'm gonna go to JJ's grave. His grave must be here somewhere. Ah, there it is. My favorite brother. If you knew how much, I miss you. Sometimes I wish you would come alive and be with me forever, but that's just my dreams. What? It's raining again? It looks like the same thunderstorm that killed JJ. <gasps> what? Where am I? I don't understand. The whole place looks like a cemetery. What? Is Mikey here? But how? No way. Looks like this thunderstorm has given me my life back. JJ, is that really you? I can't believe it. I missed you so much and so did mom and dad. Let's promise each other we won't ride bikes in thunderstorms anymore. Yes, I agree with you. 
Hey, we're in school today. Hmm. This is a cool moment in my life. School. JJ, we come here every day. Just calm down. Mikey, huh? I'm just really excited. Well, I'm excited too, but I'm not ready to talk about I'm in school, yay, every day. You don't like it? Oh, that really pisses me off, JJ. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, apology accepted. Just don't do it again, okay? Uh, okay. Well, it's a deal. Hmm. We'd better get back to class or the teacher will be back soon. That's right. She's kind, but she doesn't like it when someone's late. Yes, I still remember the story about Bob. That's right. She would leave him after school to wait until she finished her work to teach him a lesson. Yeah, I couldn't stand sitting in school that long. Viewers, do you think school is cool or not cool? Of course not. Write your opinion in the comments. I like learning, but not school. Oh, the teacher's here. Be quiet. Okay, kids, I'm going to ask for quiet. Hmm. It's good to see you all today. Good, good morning, morning, teacher. Oh, good morning. I have some wonderful news for you. Oh, hmm. The school is holding a contest among the students for the best photo. Whoa. Whoever takes the best photo gets $1,000. Uh, what? Oh, my God. $1,000. Yes, children, be quiet. Oh. The school wants you to take a photo of something cool or unusual. Good luck, everyone. Mikey, I want in. Yes, that sounds very interesting. You can take pictures outside of school. Wow. There are no restrictions. Mikey. JJ, we have to get involved. Yeah. We just take a photo of something interesting and that's it. The prize is in our pocket. Oh, you heard it. It was the bell from class. Guys, since it's a shortened day, I'm letting you all go home. JJ, we're free. Let's go tomorrow. outside. Yeah, let's go. We'll take the best photos and make tons of money. Yeah. Have you thought about what you want to photograph, by the way? Oh, well, I'm thinking of photographing the beauty of nature. The beauty of nature? Uh, huh, you're so naive, JJ. Wait, why? Because there will be lots of nature pictures. I'm sure of it. No, I'm going to have special photos. JJ, you've got to bring people out in colorful emotions. Oh, uh, what? And you can get a little admiration for nature in the park. Mikey, stop saying that. I like nature. And you don't care at all about what I love. Mikey! We do what you want all the time. I'm sick of it. But Mikey... I'll take the photo I want. Uh, and I'm going to do it all by myself. Mikey, wait! Don't follow me. Take your stupid nature photos. Stupid nature photos? Mikey, I've always been willing to forgive you, but this time you hurt my feelings too much. I'll take such a good photo that you'll have to apologize to me and nature. JJ doesn't understand anything about art at all. And photography is art. And art is all about bringing out vivid emotion. I must teach him a lesson. <gasps> That's what I need. Wow, I didn't realize there was such a work of art not that far from the school. Now that's the kind of picture that would be 100% worthy of a contest at school. I'll take some photos and pick the best one. That's what really brings out the vivid emotions. Garbage. Everyone will be shocked, but it's just what I need. I'm sure JJ definitely wouldn't take a better photo than mine. What could be more unusual in the city than this? Exactly, nothing. It's been hours since I've been looking for something pretty to photograph. So finally, I found the best place with the best views of the beautiful nature. And just now the sun is going over the horizon. It's the best moment for a photo. Look at this beauty. Nature is beautiful. I'm sure Mikey won't find anything more beautiful than this. Oh, I'm getting a bit chatty. It's getting late. I'll take some pictures and go home. Oh, wow, the sun gets so big when sunset happens. I'm obligated to photograph this exact moment. Just a little bit more. Yeah, that's it. No, ah, mommy, daddy, Mikey, help. I don't want to die. Ouch. Wait a second. Oh, it's weird, but I don't have any pain. Hmm. Oh, my God. Is that me? I don't believe it. This can't be happening. I just wanted to take a nice photo. I didn't want it to end this way. I wasn't standing right on the edge. Why did I fall? Uh, wait, was I too close to the edge? Oh, I guess I didn't see it, Nightmare. It was very scary. Will my body just stay here? Hmm, no, I have to go home. Try to talk to my family. Two hours later. I've gone very far indeed. I can't imagine explaining to them where my body is. Okay, I'll think about it later. I'm almost home. Ah, home sweet home. It's peaceful and calm here as always. That actually makes me happy. Hmm. I wonder if my family misses me now. They must just be sitting peacefully drinking tea. Uh, how do I get in? Oh, I'm a ghost. They might not see Mikey, me. what happened? Well, we had a big fight with JJ and split up to take pictures. I don't know where he is. Mikey. He didn't come back to school. What have we done, God? Where could he have gone? He said he was going nature photography. Yes, that's right. But there are so many places with nature. Maybe he's still in the I'm city. here. We'll need to look at every bush. Dad, at oh, least huh? see me. Honey, this is going to be really hard. Mommy, I know where my body is. We don't have any leads. It's so sad. I wish you could hear me. Hmm. Then I could help you and myself. Oh, then we'll put up flyers all over town. Oh! Yeah, we should split up. I looked pretty good. Yeah, how do we do it? Who goes where? Hmm. We have to see the whole city. Yes, you're right. Hmm. But we should also check out the police station. Yes, that would be the right thing to do. They may have found our lost JJ. Mommy, they don't know anything. Honey, we'll find him. I'm the only one who knows. Mommy! All right, let's go outside. We'll divide up who's going where. Yes, let's not waste any more time talking. Mommy, what if I get 
lost too if I go alone. Don't worry, I'll only let you go to a safe neighborhood. Oh, hmm. Everything will be fine. All right, Mom. There's no point in you going around town. I'm here and my body's not here. Well, let's get some directions. Okay, okay. I'm going to that part of town. Hmm. And you, Mikey, go to that part of town. Okay. And your father will go to the police station. Yeah, I'll figure it out. Oh, I hope JJ is okay. We're very hopeful too. Good luck with our search, Mikey. Yes, we'll definitely find him. Oh. Oh, JJ, where'd you go? <clears throat> I feel really guilty about what I said to you the other day. Are you really sorry? I hope you didn't go too far. Then you had to admit that nature is cool too. I promise that when I see you again, I'll make it up to you. Really? I've got flyers to put up. Oh, my sweet boy. I hope you're around somewhere. How could I have missed this moment? Oh, on the other hand, I had no way of knowing about it. Mikey came in crying last night. It was awful. I don't think these flyers will help us, but it's all we can do right now. Maybe someone saw JJ and will tell us about it. JJ, the whole family is very worried about you. Please come home to us. Oh, what a bore. No interesting investigations or events. Who's there? It's Speaker Man. Oh, Mr. Speaker Man, please come in. Don't stand outside the door. I'm glad you remembered old acquaintances, officer. Ha! Insulting, old friend. I'm here on business. My son is missing. Wait, what? Yesterday, he went somewhere after school and didn't come back. We're worried sick. What a misfortune. Can your boys find him? Oh, I'll do my best, old boy. I'll get everyone I can on the case. If there's any news, I'll let you know. Really? After all, I vividly remember that moment when you helped me with my problems. Cool. Two hours later. Mikey's been hanging flyers here for four hours. Stop torturing yourself, Mikey. It's not enough. You don't think that's enough? My face is on every house in this neighborhood. I don't have many flyers left. Well, good, because no one knows where the body is but me. It's no time to be sad. I owe it to myself to do the best of my ability. Oh, and then you'll have to tear off all these flyers. I feel like I could have put up more flyers, but I don't have many left. Well, no more. What are you doing, Mikey? I get that I'm handsome, but why are there a lot of flyers with me on them every 100 inches? Well... Well, you could just guess that I've gone into the woods and I've been out of town a long time instead of hanging up these flyers. JJ, where are you? No shame, no conscience. If you hang flyers, at least hang them straight. That's it. I'm out of flyers. So what are you going to do now? Oh, hmm. Huh. I gotta tell my mom that I did everything here. Oh my god, what's in it for you? What's the result? JJ, find yourself. I know where I am, but you don't want to think. I'll have to tell my mom I didn't find it here. I didn't know you were like this, Mikey. Just please hear me. Oh, hmm, wait a second. Mikey, did you really hear me? Don't be silent. Say something back to me. Hmm. Say me something. JJ, you're a little crooked. Oh, what? I think I need to tweak you a bit. Oh my god. Oh no, that's not true. You're seriously going to level a poster with that kind of reaction. Yes, it looks a lot better now. You're a crazy perfectionist, Mikey. It's time to go home. My work is completely done here. And talking to me wasn't part of your plan, huh? Well, what am I supposed to do? So what are you doing here? You want to tweak something again? Hmm. Oh, JJ, I missed you so much. Uh, Please come home soon. Hmm. After all, everyone is very worried about you. Yes, I would love to go back. But as you cannot see, I can't do that. Hmm. I have to figure out how to help them find me. Otherwise, their investigation will go nowhere. They'll still think I'm lost somewhere in the city. My parents and I agreed to meet here. Where are they? Hmm. Mikey, we're here. Yay! Were you able to find out anything? No, Mom. It's a shame. Have you two been able to figure anything out? No, and we've got nothing. Oh, hmm. The police station can't help us much either. Well... I'm the one who needs to come up with something now, not the other way around. What are we gonna Think, do? JJ, use your brain. Oh, that's right. I had dirt in the inventory. With this, I can show them the way to my body. Mikey, we're out of ideas. But what about JJ? All we have to do is wait for a miracle. <gasps> like this miracle. No, Mikey. You don't understand me. Look behind your backs. All right, let's help Mikey. Here, do you see this? Wow, that's incredible. What's going on? I think someone is trying to help us. Okay, let's try to follow this trail of dirt. Yes, come on. I'll get you to the right place. It's so unusual. Mikey, take your time. I'm a little freaked out. We're right there with you. You just take your time. Okay, I wonder what is this creature that's dumping dirt in here? Oh, Mikey, you'll be surprised when you find Find out that creature was your brother. Look, there's more dirt. There's really a lot of that dirt. Come on, my family. Follow me quickly. So, a little more. We've come far into the woods. Here I am. Look. <gasps> my boy. JJ. You see, you were looking in the wrong place. JJ. Hmm. Uh, JJ. What about JJ? Why isn't he waking up? Mikey, we're too late. No, I don't believe that. Mikey, your mom's right. We can't do anything. He's been here too long. Come on, get up. You can see that everyone misses you and is worried about you. JJ. Please help me get back into my body. My little boy. Please, I want to go back to them. My son. God, Help me, I'll do anything for you. Uh, where am I? Am I completely dead? I'm too young to die now. Ahem. 
Ahem. Uh, oh my god. First rule, uh, don't say the god's name here. Okay. You've mentioned me a lot, for that I commend you. Sounds contradictory. You said you would do anything to return to the world of the living, is that true? Yes, our holy light. A holy light? All right, don't distract me. Hmm. Well, you solve my riddle, and I'll return you to your family. I agree. Hmm. What belongs to you, but others use it more often than you. Uh, You've only got three tries, think JJ. Oh, I remember my mom saying something similar to that to me once. Could that be my pen? No, JJ, that's the wrong answer. But why? I'll give you a hint. It's only spiritually connected to you. A soul? Oh, what am I going to do with this child? <clears throat> the answer was name. Remember that? Oh my God. Will I be a ghost forever? No, JJ, we see you. Really? JJ, it's a miracle you came back to life. I'm so happy, darling. We're very excited. JJ, we've been looking for you. Yeah, Mikey, I know. How did you even get here? I wanted to take a good picture from the top of that cliff and I flew off it. But you survived. It's unbelievable. Please don't scare us like that again. We're worried. Okay, Mom and Dad. Also, I'm sorry. A few moments later. JJ, do you remember when I spit in the teacher's coffee? Yeah, Mikey, I remember that. JJ, do you remember when I slapped my literature teacher on the buttocks with a wet blackboard rag? Yeah, Mikey, I remember that too. And you argued with me about who's the biggest bully in school. Okay, Mikey, you're the best. Now let's go home. I'm tired of our school. You're tired because you've been studying. I was having fun. You got your priorities wrong, bro. Your priorities may get our parents called back to school. It's not a big deal. So what if a teacher wants to stab me with a knife? Oh, I don't want to remember that horrible day. Just don't tell your parents about your exploits, okay? Okay, otherwise you're the one who's always getting punished. Imagine that. Just the three of us. You, me, and the sea. And no one else around. What about our kids? And here we are. We're back from school. Oh, hey kids. We were just discussing something. Don't tell them. What do you want to tell us? Is this some kind of surprise? We have a hot ticket to the sea, and we wonder if you want to come with us. But I wouldn't want to take them. Imagine the sea, the beach, lots of fun. All thanks to this ticket. Wow, that's awesome. Really cool. Don't you want to come with us? I want to go to the seaside. Yes, I want to go to the sea too. Oh, this is bad. Then pack your things. We're leaving soon. What kind of things do we need? Swimsuits, t-shirts. We're going to the sea. Go get ready. We're wasting time. Okay, we get it. I'll take my favorite life preserver. Don't forget to deflate it, Mikey. Of course I'm going to blow it off. You think I'm that stupid? Let's go pack already. I think our parents would like to go as a couple. Yeah, I heard them talking before we got here. Dad's obviously not happy that we're going with them. Mikey, I hope you're not taking your toys to the seaside. No, of course not. We'll take only the necessities. For this moment, I already have suitcases of clothes ready for me and you. Wow, Mikey, you're so thoughtful. Uh, sure. If it comes to the sea, I'm ready any minute. There are a couple toys here, of course, but it doesn't take up much space. Swim trunks, inflatable lap, t-shirts, and shorts. I don't think you need any clothes at all at sea. It's always hot there. JJ, I didn't think you'd be lying on a nudist beach. It was a joke, Mikey. At least I have enough clothes that I'm wearing. JJ, look! Our parents are already packed and waiting for us at their car. Children, Let's go quickly. Mikey, let's go. We might miss the plane. There's no waiting for latecomers at the airport. Mom, Dad, we're ready to go. That was fast. We wanted to go without you. Dad's always joking around. Get in the car and let's go. I wasn't joking. Where should we put our suitcases? I think there's still space in the trunk for your stuff. Oh, that's great. We're waiting for you in the car. It's nice not having to go to school tomorrow. The teacher will be jealous. While she's puffing at the blackboard, I'll be splashing in the sea. Mikey, you like school, don't you? Between school and the sea, I'd choose the latter. Get in the car already. We're going to the sea. Cool. Everyone is so excited about the trip. And you guys, have you ever been to the sea? Write about it in the comments. JJ, who were you talking to on the street? I was talking to my favorite viewers. Oh, you're making a video for your channel again? Yes, just like always. Three hours later. There's always something weird going on in your videos. What could be so strange about it? I don't know. Something bad could happen. Honey, you're being too pessimistic. We're going to the sea. Smile more often. Okay, okay. I hope we're going to be all right. We arrived at the airport. We're not even late. Yeah, that's cool, but where's our plane? JJ, this is it. This is the wreck we're going to fly. Looks like a nice airplane to me. It's a beautiful airplane. Yeah, it's so big. I hope we are being driven by experienced pilots. Oh, I don't know who's even going to be there. Here come our professional pilots. Hey, guys. Hey, what's up? Behave yourself, trainee. What? You have a trainee pilot? Actually, we're both trainees. What? Do you even know how to fly an airplane? No, but we've read the instructions. Don't worry. I think the flight will be a success. I think so. Don't you think that's strange? Don't worry about it. We passed our pilot's license on a computer game. We are true professionals. I don't know. I don't trust them. It's late, JJ. This trip is too expensive to be canceled. But they've never been on an airplane. JJ, they said they were flying an airplane in a computer game. They know what they're doing. We trust them. Yeah, JJ. You're the pessimist here, not your father. That's right. Right. JJ, don't be afraid. The airplane is safe. But I'm still scared anyway. You'll fall asleep and you'll be on the sea. Okay. Says board 2218. Flight stable. The landing gear is loose, but it's not critical. The flight is 
organized by the airline company Jmeek Airlines. Have fun flying. You know, it's like a famous airline. I'm not scared to sit here anymore. Here we go, JJ. And you were afraid. The plane doesn't even shake. Yeah, kids, we're going to the sea. Yes, I can't wait to go to the sea. It's good that everyone is in a great mood. It calms me down. I wonder if I could survive if I jumped off an airplane into the water from that height. I think it's a bad idea, Mikey. It's too high. But the water's soft. I can't break. We'll have to try it on the way back. You're kidding me again, Mikey. Hey, what does this button do? Oh, I don't know. Let's press it and see what happens. Okay, let's give it a try. Oh my god, what did you do? We're falling. Oh my god, this didn't happen in the computer games. What's going on? Idiot, we're going down. Run for your lives. Oh my god, what was that button? What's going on? Why is the plane tilting? Looks like we're going down. We're falling, children. We're falling. Oh my god, we're all gonna die. What are we gonna do? I don't know. Maybe we should just buckle up and wait. And you all called me a pessimist. Quiet, everybody. Maybe the pilots can stabilize the situation. There's no way they're fixing the plane. I can see fire from the window. Oh my god, my leg looks like it's twisted. It hurts so bad. Oh, I think I survived the plane crash. Yeah, the plane broke down pretty badly. I don't think it'll ever take off again. Shouldn't have trusted those trainee pilots. Two idiots who shouldn't have been allowed on the plane. Okay, we gotta get out of here, Mikey. Get up. Mikey? What's wrong with you? Are you even alive? Please, wake up. Mom? Dad? Please wake up. Don't leave me alone. Please, don't die in front of me. It's that stupid airplane. He's not taking my parents away from me. Dad, wake up, please, don't die. Oh, who's coming? It's an ambulance. They're just in time. They're gonna save my family. I hope they at least know their jobs, unlike those two pilots. God, please save my family. I don't want them to die. I'm starting to feel sick too. Oh my god, my head is cracking. Kid, wake up! Woo, you're alive! You're a miracle survivor, man! What's going on? Where am I? You're in the hospital. You're being treated for a plane crash. Just don't make any sudden movements. We've worked hard to revive you. Where's my family? Are they alive? I'm sorry to say this, but we couldn't save them. They're all dead. We tried to save them. What? How come you couldn't save them? You're a doctor. You're saving people's lives. I'm sorry, boy. Not all lives in this world can be saved. But how am I supposed to live without them? You're a strong boy. Surviving an accident like that is a big deal. By the way, do you know what this says? I'm in trainee at this hospital. Oh my god, why am I surrounded by idiots? No one can do their job. Friends, can you please like this video? I feel really bad. Maybe this will help me. Now I should get out of this hospital. Oh my god. There's our house. We never got to go to the sea as a family. I need the sea badly. I want my family back. The house seems so empty. My parents were here to greet me. They were always happy to see me. And Mikey was always sitting at the TV watching his cartoons for days on end. Now he's gone. Just like mom and dad. Oh my god, I miss them so much. They were so good. Why did they die and not me? I can't live alone without my family. We were so happy together back in the day. I'm lonely. Friends, treasure your families. They are the most important thing you have. Four to six days later. Mom, you were the most caring and loving mom in the world. You've always loved me. Mikey, without you, my life will be miserable. I can't imagine my life without you. Dad, you've always been a wise and just father. Your admonitions will not pass me by. I will always love you all. I will never forget my family. You'll live alive in my heart. Yeah, well, JJ's been pretty upset about our deaths. Well, what did you think? People feel bad when their loved ones die. But still, I'm sorry to see him suffer, too. I actually thought he'd be happy, because he survived. Live and enjoy life. Don't mourn. What? I heard a noise. No one's in the cemetery. Maybe it's the ghosts of my family. I don't believe in ghosts, but I definitely heard a noise. Maybe I'm imagining it. Um, it looks like he's guessing we're here. Yes, he suspects we're here in ghost form, but he can't hear us. It was Mikey who broke the grass and scared him with it. Did I scare him? That's funny. I'm gonna scare him again. Even in ghost form, I can still mess with my brother. Not another rustle around. Only the sound of rain dripping on the graves can be heard. I guess I was imagining things. I'm going to lose my mind. Uh, what? I heard that? It's the ghosts of my family. They're giving me signs that they're near. Yes, it's definitely them. I can't see them, but I'm sure they can hear me. If ghosts exist in this world, then I can resurrect them. Raise Mikey, mom and dad from the dead. Friends, have you ever seen a ghost? Write about it in the comments. I didn't see them, but I heard them. I think I know who will help me. There's a strange shaman sitting here somewhere who talks to spirits. Oh my god, what a weird dude. It's definitely that crazy shaman. Uh, excuse me, I need your help. You can talk to spirits, right? Talking to ghosts? Boy, I've been in contact with them since birth. I know everything about them. Oh, that's awesome. I heard my parents' ghosts in the cemetery. I need to resurrect them. 
them. Resurrect? I haven't done that in decades. It's a very dangerous shamanic ritual. Boy, are you sure you want to do this? Yes, of course. I'll do anything to get my family back. Ooh, I like that attitude. For the ritual, we need to come to my church of hell. The church of hell? Really? Yeah, that's what it's called on Google Maps. It's just a church to me. All right, let's go. Here's the one. The church of hell. It looks like an ordinary, unpretentious building, but inside, it's pretty scary. Are you trying to scare me? I survived falling out of an airplane. Nothing scares me, especially some church of Satanists. Boy, you're confused. Satanists are one thing, but spirits and shamanism are something else entirely. Behold the church of hell. Wow, the church looks really creepy. Yeah, I love that style. Come here, don't be afraid. I'm going to prepare the resurrection ritual. Yeah, it's a regular set like in some movie. You don't understand. I'm the shaman here. It's all about communicating with the spirits. You want to resurrect your family, don't you? Of course I want to. Then step back. I must set up the fires of spiritualism. They will create a thread between you and the spirits of your family. Oh my God. Soulmates of this boy, come to the world of the living. May they return by lightning to their physical bodies. May they come back to their living form. May the other world give them a second chance. There's no place for them in heaven or hell. Come back to life, for I need you here, alive, here and now. Rise up, everyone. What? Where are we? Weren't we in a cemetery? Are we in a church? What? You got it already? JJ, hey. Mommy, Daddy, Mikey, you're alive. Hey, JJ, you brought us back to life. I'm so happy to see you all. I had the help of this shaman here. Hey, everybody. A true genius. Thank you so much. Yes, thank you. You're the best shaman in the world. Yeah, you're very cool. Thank you all. You're welcome. It's just my job. You're a true professional, not like some trainee. Bye-bye, everyone. Goodbye. Bye. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Well, I thought I was dead forever. Yeah, me too. We've all been dead. But if it weren't for JJ, we'd still be lying in our graves. Yeah, you're right. And we're going home. Children, catch up with us. JJ, you're the best. Kids, what are you standing there for? Let's go home already. Yeah, we're gonna go now. Well, JJ, we didn't go to sea, but we went to heaven. It's so boring up there, you know? Yeah, Mikey. But here in the world of living people, we're gonna have a lot of fun. I'm having a baby brother or sister. But honestly, I'd like a little brother for myself. We were told it was 100% going to be a boy. Nice. I was so happy when I heard that. Oh, darling. Your mom is due to have a baby any day now. Cool. Oh, you're embarrassing me. Let's take care of her before it's labor time. Mom, is it hard for you to walk? Yeah, just a little bit, honey. Honey, I'll carry you. Don't worry. Are you sure you won't have a hard What's time? What's the trouble, dear? Oh. You're still as light as a feather as ever. <laughs> wow, Daddy, you're so strong. Yeah. I want to help my mom, too. Of course we're going to need your help, too, JJ. Yay, where do we start? First, I just need to get your mom into the bedroom and let her rest. Uh, okay. But darling, I must make dinner for you both. In your condition, rest is important. Yes, mom, rest. Well done, JJ. Daddy, here you are helping mommy move around the house. Yes, I have no choice but to help your beautiful mom right now. What can I do to help? Well... My dears, I'd like a snack. I'm a little hungry. Oh my god. No problem, my love. <clears throat> JJ, let's go out in the hallway for a minute. Okay, dad. Honey, have some relaxation and don't worry about a thing. Uh... Well, JJ... As you may have noticed, we don't have anything to eat at home. Yes, Dad, I noticed. What are we going to do? So go to the store and get your mom some fruit, okay? Sure, I'll go to the store, no problem. That's great. We seem to have one carrot and a loaf left in the fridge, but I don't think your mom would want that. Hmm, I understand her. So hurry up. Okay, Dad. And don't buy your mom peaches, you understand? Yeah, one foot here, one foot there. Before they know it, I'll be coming home with a bag of delicious fruit. I can't wait for the baby to be born. I wonder if what the mom eats makes the baby feel bad or good. Hours later. There was a terrible line of grandmothers at the store. They take so long to pick lottery tickets. God! Oh, I hope I'm not too late. I bought so much stuff. I hope my mom likes it. Honey, I'm very comfortable. Hey, everybody, I'm back. I'm glad to hear that. Dad, Mom. Oh, JJ. I bought fruit. Oh, you're my good son. Only for you, Mommy. There aren't any peaches here, are there? Nope. I was just dreaming of fruit. Thank you, my sunshine. I hope the little one enjoys it. So, JJ, we're here to decide what we're going to name your little brother. Oh! Those are the options. Uh... Honey. What do you think of the name Bob? Sounds interesting. No, huh? I don't want that name. And what do you think, JJ? No, I'm picturing SpongeBob, not my brother. Okay, well, since no one likes that name, I'm crossing it off. Uh, okay. So, what do you think of the name, John? Sounds noble. No, we have an ordinary boy, not a king. I don't like it either. JJ and John, they don't sound compatible at all. We're going to get confused. Okay, okay, I love that name. Oh, sorry, Dad. It's okay, JJ. And that leaves us with the last name, Mikey. Oh! That's the name I like the best. So it's settled. Our son will be named Mikey. Oh, my God. You like it, JJ? I'm extremely pleased. I love the name, too. Your mom picked out that name. Yes, your father chose a name for you. Really? But this time, I'm choosing the name for my second son. Nevertheless, the time is getting late. It's bedtime for the kids. Wow. 
Wow, I didn't realize it was getting dark. Thanks for your help, son. Yes, thank you. I'm always happy to help you both. Oh, what a wonderful son we have. Oh, you're embarrassing me. <laughs> I'm going to bed now. JJ, mommy and daddy love you so much. Sleep sweetly, JJ. And it's time for us to go to bed. Good night. Oh, this has been an extremely stressful day for me. Hopefully in a few days I won't be living alone in this room. It'll be so nice to fall asleep in the two of us. I'm excited. Good night to me. <coughs> oh, good morning. I had such a wonderful dream that my brother was born. Huh, but it's just a dream. I wonder what's for breakfast. Uh, what's going on? JJ, JJ. What's up? Your mom, baby. Huh, what? Let's go downstairs. Dad, calm down. Mm. Let's go downstairs, all right? Uh, yeah, sure, let's hurry up. What could have happened that you said our mom a baby? Oh no, JJ, I meant the baby is coming soon. Oh! My dearly beloved, this time has come. Oh, mommy. Do something. And I'm in a total panic. Dad, call an ambulance. That's right, JJ, they'll help her. Yeah, let's hurry up. Hurry up, hurry up. Please have them respond right away. Uh... Hello, you've reached the ambulance. Hello? Do you need help? Yes, my wife is in labor come as soon as possible oh our car is on its way oh and they work promptly awesome yes the ambulance should be here soon we need to be on the lookout so we don't miss it okay oh my gosh this is the only way we can help your mom right now Oh, dad that must be the ambulance yeah let's go outside and take a look let's go wow jj you were right the ambulance is here they came so fast great job hi were you the one who called the ambulance yes it was us all right well where's the patient mommy's lying in the bedroom you're gonna help my mom right yes of course i'll try let's go yeah i need to see your condition right away first hmm Ugh. Oh, my love, are you okay? Not so much. Hello. Hello, how are you feeling? <clears throat> I'm having an incredibly hard time right now. I got it. Family, I'm sorry, but I have to get your mom to the hospital right now. Oh, but why? If we don't, she could be very badly hurt. Oh, my God. I don't want my mom to get too sick. Can we go with her? No, and no, absolutely not. My darlings, I'll be all right. Your mom needs to rest. I'm really worried. I want to go with her. I'm going too. Ouch. This could hurt your mom. Stop. So calm down and come to the hospital. But why? Listen, both of you, worrying and yelling is not going to make your mom feel better. Oh, no. I'll see you at the hospital. Uh, okay. I'm so scared for her. Dad, let's trust the doctors. But JJ... They know best how to help our mom. Yeah, you're probably right. Oh, but we haven't found out which hospital she'll be in. Oh, I totally forgot to ask about that. We should hurry and get the car. Oh, my God, he's going so fast. Don't worry, we can still see him. Keep up, JJ. Phew, we ran nonstop for almost an hour. It was awful. The doctors had just recently taken my mom into that room, but nothing else was happening. Childbirth is a long procedure. I'm getting a little worried. JJ, I'm worried too, but there's nothing we can do but wait. Is mom going to be okay? Yeah, they're professionals here, so I think we'll be fine. Oh! Is the labor really over? Yes, the labor went well for the baby. Oh my God! But unfortunately, not successful for the mother. Wait, what? I'm sorry, but this baby is the only thing I can give you right now. Wait. Come on, baby, get on your feet. This is your family. It's good to see you all. My love. I can't guarantee anything. We're fighting for her life but you should probably prepare for the worst. I have to see her right away. You can't do that. If you don't understand with words, wait, I'll go in by force. <gasps> my love, I'm coming. Oh my God. We're in the middle of a major operation and no outsiders are allowed in. You can't come in, okay? Okay. Help her, Charlie, we need you. Let's hurry. Well, it's over. Daddy, what's wrong with mommy? We probably won't see our mom again. Stop, what? But I didn't see her anyway. Ah, uh, that's right, Mikey. <clears throat> you didn't see the mom who gave you that beautiful name. Oh. So my name is Mikey? Yeah, that's the name our mom came up with for it you. It saddens me that I won't even be able to see her. I'm still hoping for the best. Still, our mother couldn't survive childbirth, Mikey. JJ, I can't believe it. I was just born and already such misfortunes. Hmm. And also, just look at the condition of our father. Uh, it was the hardest thing for dad to hear the news about. This is just terrible. I have no idea how to cheer him up. He's been sitting like this for days. Oh. Oh, mommy, if only you were nearby. Dad wouldn't watch such sad cartoons. JJ, this can't go on. Uh. I'm very sad and I'm very hungry. Do we have anything to eat at home? Dad seemed to say that there was something edible in the refrigerator. Well. But I'm not sure I need to check it out. Oh, hmm. So what is here? Wow, there's a whole loaf of bread and one carrot. What's up? I'll share my bread with you, Mikey. So what about you? I'm already an adult, Mikey, and you're still a baby. You need to eat a lot. Thank you, JJ. Bon appetit. <gasps> and you only ate one carrot, Nightmare. It's okay. Okay, JJ, what do we do? Well, I have a suggestion to go outside and freshen up. Wow. What do you think about it? Oh, hmm. I think this is a good idea. Cool. It's too stuffy at home right now. Let's go for a walk. Let's leave Dad with his thoughts. Yes, let's go quickly. Yeah, I think going for a walk now is the best thing we can do. Yay. Oh, and the weather is so nice now. Yes, but just recently it was raining heavily. But the weather has now improved, and this means that we can have a great time on the playground. I've been dreaming of playing here for a long time, JJ. Then let's go. Three hours later. I've already played enough, but Mikey has more than enough energy. When are you going to come down to Earth? Ha, but I'm already 
already on the earth, JJ. Huh, what? But to be serious, I'm not tired. Mikey, look at the sky. The sun has already gone to bed and it's time for us to return home. Oh, hmm. Huh. I'm not kidding. Come down. Well, the sky really is already dark. Yeah. Okay, today I had enough time to play. Oh, let's go home quickly. I'm tired. I hope we will repeat this walk tomorrow. <laughs> okay, let's go. Yay, finally. Our dad has most likely already lost us. Oh, I can't even imagine what we should do with him in his condition. Let's try to cheer him up tomorrow. Uh, for example, let's all go for a walk together. Yes, we will do that. Hmm, where's dad? Maybe he went upstairs. Hmm, I don't even know. Let's take a look around here. He's not in the bedroom. Yes, JJ, but there's something on the floor. Look. Uh, what is that? Mikey, it's a book. But why is there a book here and our dad is not there? I don't know. And how can we use it? I can read this. Well, what are you waiting for then? Read on. Let's see what's written here. My sons, sorry, but I can't live without your mom. Oh my God. I'm leaving for her, your beloved daddy. Why daddy? Well, Mikey, something terrible happened to our dad. We have to find him. Wait, why? He wrote here that he could not live apart from our mother. Oh no. He was supposed to stay somewhere at home. I didn't see him go outside. Oh, hmm. JJ, I bring bad luck. Wait, what? As soon as I appeared with you, everything became so bad. Forgive me. I'm really sorry. Mikey, it's not your fault. I'm not so sure about that. But Mikey... Oh, okay, where could he be? Mikey, I'm sure he wouldn't come into our room. Hmm. Let's go check it in the garage. JJ, I find it hard to believe that Dad would do anything. <clears throat> oh, this can't be... Oh, my God. Daddy, why? Mikey. Daddy, please wake up. Daddy, don't leave us. We can't live without you. Get up. JJ, it's no use. No, I don't believe that Dad is no more. JJ, our Dad is reunited with our mom forever. Uh. It's sad but we should be happy for them. I have no idea what we should do now. First, let's bury him. It's terrible. First, we didn't have a mom, and now we don't have a dad. Oh, JJ, we're all about ourselves now. I can't find a place for myself. I hear dad's voice and his steps everywhere. Oh! <laughs> uh, what? What was it now? What's up, JJ? I'm not sure, but I heard something. Mm, I didn't hear anything. Oh, my God. <gasps> Mikey, let's run home. Why are you talking so calmly? You're wrong. I'm panicking so much. Okay, let's go. Mikey, don't we really think that's all? JJ, this can't be a joint hallucination. It's rare. I really hope you're right. Phew, JJ, but what was that? I don't know. <gasps> What if it was some kind of monster? Uh, well, that sounds logical. Hmm. Oh, JJ, be quiet. Oh, uh, what? Oh, my God. You also didn't hear someone walking upstairs. Yeah. I really don't like this, JJ. I agree. I'm scared. Mikey, don't be afraid. I'm still next to you. What is that? Wait, what? Mom and Dad? Sorry for scaring you guys. We didn't mean to scare you. You are ghosts. Yes, but we are still us. Yes, it is. Uh, Our parents are with us again. Yes, exactly. You are with us again. Yay. Now you won't leave? For now, we are staying here with you both. Yes, we will leave only when the time comes. Oh. Yes, but you don't have to worry about it now. Hmm. By the way, my kids, are you hungry? Oh, yes, I'm very hungry. And I'm hungry, too. Mom will cook a meal. JJ, let's go to the table. Uh, okay. Mikey, this is all so amazing. Yes, we couldn't believe it ourselves when we saw ourselves like that. Since we had such a chance, we would spend this time with our children. Mom, thanks to this, I can see how beautiful you were. <laughs> yes, that's a fact. Yeah. Thank you, my loves, and bon appetit. Oh! Wow, thanks, Mom. The food looks amazing. I agree. I can't wait to taste everything. <laughs> Me too. Thanks, Mom, for the food. <laughs> and in general, thank you for not forgetting about us. I couldn't forget about my beloved sons. We couldn't leave you. You are next to us now, and this is the most important thing. Yes, we're glad you're here. Oh, kids. We are happy, too. The next day. We play as a family on our playground. I've been dreaming about this ever since Mom got pregnant with Mikey. <laughs> JJ, I dreamed about this, too. Ha, ah, Daddy, pump me harder. Mikey, I'm doing everything I can. Hee, hee, hee. JJ, this is so cool. Cool, Mikey. Will you let me swing on the swing, too? Yes, sure. Mommy, I'm so happy. Oh, that was my best sale. Whoa, ha, ha. Uh, what? Mikey, it's my turn now. No, my dad pushes me on the swing. Mom, Wait. Mikey won't share with me. Dad, I've played enough. Oh! But my grandmother told me that wild mushroom soup was a bad idea. Why didn't I listen to her? I'm just going crazy. Terrible. Nightmare. One week later. JJ, this week has been the best week of my life. Yeah. And this is all thanks to you, my parents. You're welcome. Thanks to both of you. JJ, I wish this would never end. Yes, we would like the same too. Cool. But unfortunately, it's time for us to say goodbye to each other. Wait, why? Ghosts cannot stay in the world of the living for long. They have been waiting for us in another world for a long time. Mikey, apparently it's time to say goodbye to them. Hmm. We are really sad to leave, but we have no choice. Yes, we love you. Goodbye. Bye. Mommy, Daddy, wait. <laughs> Come back, please. JJ, they said they would leave us. I remember that. I didn't think it would come so soon. Yeah. I'm incredibly happy that I was able to meet them, but I'm also incredibly upset. Now this one will be so empty. Yes, but JJ, we mustn't lose heart. Yes, let's fill this house stories and fun. Let's go. Many months later. On this sunny, beautiful day, Mikey and I are playing on the playground. Hey, hey, we have a new playground at the orphanage. Yeah, 
Our center has repaired everything. And they also bought a lot of toys. It is so much more fun to be in our orphanage now. They also grew a new forest where we sometimes go for walks with our group. Too bad we're not allowed to go there alone. Guys, come here. Who's that? A teacher at our orphanage is calling us. It's time to go eat. You're already playing and you're late for lunch. She's calling us into the building to eat, Mikey. I heard that, JJ. You guys have been playing outside for a long time. We have to go eat. Don't worry, you can play again later. Then let's go eat quickly. Yeah, and I'm already hungry. And don't mind getting some extra energy. I hope there will be a delicious lunch today and not like yesterday's broccoli soup. Broccoli soup is very healthy, JJ. Come on in. The other kids are long past lunchtime. As long as those kids don't eat our lunch. What are you talking about, JJ? There's one plate for every two people. No one's gonna eat your lunch. That's what I believed. Are you guys joking around again? Hee hee hee. Let's go eat before the food gets cold. We'll eat and go about our business. Sure, we're right in the business, Mikey. There's your table over there. You can sit down. Enjoy your meal. Thank you very much. It smells really good. Let's go eat. I wonder if everyone here has the same food? Or do they give someone else different food? I don't know, JJ. Look at that. They're all different. But our food isn't lamb poop. Let's eat already. Do you like being here, JJ? Yes, of course I do. It's beautiful. And the food is delicious. I would eat here more often. I meant at the orphanage. Do you like it? Ah, yeah. I like it here. The people here are nice. They treat us well, too. The food is good, too. On the whole, I agree with you, JJ. Guys, let's finish eating. We're scheduled for an afternoon nap. Oh, no. What daytime nap? We wanted to go for another walk. Yeah, and I haven't finished eating yet. But on the other hand, I don't mind lying down and resting for a while. I agree with you, Mikey. Let's go get some rest. Can we go to our playground again with JJ after the day's rest? Yes, after your vacation, you can go play. Cool, Mikey. Let's stay in bed for an hour and go play. Thank you, orphanage teacher. You're welcome. Go to your room. Bye. How lucky we are that she is very kind. Let's go get some rest, JJ. Yeah, that's right. I have heard that many teachers are cruel and unfair to their students. That's awful. It shouldn't be like this. Write in the comments if your teachers are good and if you like them. This is our room, JJ. We can come in and relax. How convenient that we have a room for two with no extra people. It's true. What a beautiful and cozy room, too. I love it here. I love it here, too. And the beds are comfortable. Let's get some rest, JJ. Nice. I just have a favor to ask of you. Can you go to the store with me? I'm a little undernourished. We'll go back and forth quickly and rest. All right, Mikey, let's go. Just as long as nobody sees us. Thank you, JJ. Let's go see if anyone's in the hallway. You just have to be quiet as a mouse or they'll scold you. I'm out, JJ. I don't think anyone's around, so let's take it slow. That's great. Everything's going according to plan. Let's hurry up and go before anyone sees us. I love what we're doing. I got a little adrenaline rushing through my body. Take your time, Mikey. There might be people here who can see us. Don't be so hard on yourself. I've been through everything. No one's here. We can go. Cool, Mikey. I have a lot of fun doing that. Yay! It adds a new emotion to ordinary life. Here we are. This is the closest store. And it's also a good store. There is a very large selection. He also works all night. We can come here at 1 in the morning. What do you want to get for yourself at the store? Something tasty. We should go look. That's right. Hello. We're here to buy groceries. Hello, guys. Sure, come on in and buy whatever you want. Thank you. We'll quickly buy everything and go. Let's go this way, JJ. Let's see what we can buy. There's a huge selection of what you can buy, Mikey. And t-shirts and trinkets. You can even buy fruit. Yes, it's a very nice store, JJ. I like it. We should buy one already and go to our orphanage. Cashier, now give me all your money. Look at Mikey. It's a robber with a gun. Oh, my God, JJ. What are we going to do? I'm scared. Let's run away. No, Mikey. We have to stop him. Hey, you robber, stop doing that. Have you lost your fear? Get out of here, boy, or I'll shoot you. No, we're not leaving here. You don't have to do this. Put your gun away and stop scaring ordinary civilians. Think you're the bravest? Then take a bullet in the head. <laughs> Mikey, it's okay. I'm alive. Is that me lying down? Am I dead? Mikey, I'm here. Look over here. Can you see me? Have I become a ghost? Did I really get killed? I should have listened to Mikey. JJ, why did you even go to him? I told you to run away. I wanted to save you. I thought he wouldn't shoot me. Hear me, Mikey. We should run to the orphanage and tell them what happened. How am I supposed to live without you, JJ? I'm right here, Mikey. Two hours later.
I don't know what's going on, but I think I've become a ghost. Hey, Mikey, stop. Where are you going so fast? Stop crying already. I'm not completely dead yet. Please calm down. You're such a crybaby. Oh, my God. He can't even hear me. Mikey, you have to tell the teacher. She should call the police over there. Stop whining and start taking action. So, you want to adopt Mikey? That's a very good option. Who? There he is. A very obedient and handsome boy. He's in tears, but that doesn't matter. What kind of people are these? They're here to adopt Mikey? What about me? He can't be taken alone. We're taking him. Yes, a good worker. I don't agree. I'm not going anywhere. What? How dare you talk to dad like that? Do you want to adopt him yet? Take him now. Okay, pack it up. We're going to be great parents. Let me go. Let Mikey go now. He's my brother. I'm not going to let you just take him away. It's not a thing. Come again. We have a lot of unwanted children. You are always welcome. One is enough for us for now. What? Why so fast? You guys are weird. I'm not leaving you, Mikey. Three hours later. Stop. Don't go away! You're not taking my Mikey away from me! He's my brother! Give him back to me! It's not your toy! We're finally here, darling. This little guy screamed so much on the way. You're bad! I don't want to be your son! Shut up, ow, you ow, little ow, baby! Ow, ow, ow. Let's go inside. We need to find a normal place for him. Let him go right now, you two stupid adults. They're treating my brother too badly. How can I help him? I'm just a ghost. Shake him up. Okay! Ow, 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 ow. That's it. He needs to be treated better. He'll work for us without rest. What kind of work? He's just a kid. Friends, do you also think it's a bad idea to work as a child? Write about it in the comments. It's a time for fun and relaxation. It's against the law to work at that age. We're too young for that. Where are you taking him? I think you'll be comfortable in this basement. That's where we're gonna keep that stupid kid. It's not a dog. People don't live in a cage. Now you're gonna live here. You have a lot of work tomorrow. What kind of work? You adopted me. I don't want to live here. Now you sit there, kid. I'm not some animal. I'm a human being. Let me out, please. You'll get out of here just to get a job. No one will come and help you. I'll help. You can't do this to me. You'll be deprived of your parental rights. We don't care. No one will find you. You are the worst parents ever. Jesus, Mikey. Hold on. I'll never leave you here alone. I'm going to find a way to get you out of here. Please don't cry. How could our teacher give you away so easily to these freaks? We just have to not give up. Yeah, sleep is what we need right now. The grates here are too strong. I don't know how Mikey can break them with his little hands. There's nothing I can do to help him. The next day. Oh, my God. Can ghosts sleep, too? I didn't know that. Hey. Wake up there. The prisoner's starved. Give me some soup. Lots of soup. Yeah, Mikey's pretty pissed off today. I'm hungry. I'm very hungry. I'm gonna chew on these bars. Who was yelling at me this morning? I'm gonna punch you in the head. I forbid you to make that kind of noise. I can't live without food for long. Oh, you're hungry, huh? We have jobs for you around the house. You get it done, you can eat. Come on, get out of here and go to the first floor. How vile you guys are. Come on, come on, follow me, baby. Okay, I'm on my way. I wonder what kind of job awaits him. Him. Oh my god, there's so much garbage. They're really dirty pigs. Here's a rake for you. Go and clean it. Mikey's gonna take forever to clean this place alone. There's no way I'd clean this place up. Get started now. Oh my god, why did they bring the trash cans in off the street? Don't even think about running away from here, kid. We have huge locks on the main door. You're gonna stay here forever. It's a good idea to adopt you, isn't it? Also, all the windows have bars. Escape is impossible. It's not a house. It's a big prison. Come on, do some janitorial work. And and we'll go have fun. While they're laying there, Mikey's gonna be working here alone. How am I supposed to get out of here? There's no way out. If JJ were around right now, maybe we could get out of this place. Mikey, I'm here. Why can't you hear me? JJ, are you here or am I imagining things? I'm here. I'm in ghost form. You can hear me, but you can't see me. Oh, that's awesome. I knew you wouldn't leave me, my brother. Mikey, you need to get out of here right now. We just have to find a way to do it. I have no idea where the weak spot is in this house. We need to look. This house can't be perfect in terms of defense. But Mikey, I don't see any way to escape at all. JJ, you're a ghost. You can walk through walls. Fly through that wall behind the painting. Uh, really? I've never done that. I don't think I can do it. So try it right now. We don't have any other options. Okay, okay. I've never done this before. It's even easier than I thought. So what do we have here? Some old garage and an exit to the street. But how do I get Mikey out here? Friends, would you like to be able to fly through walls? Write about it in the comments. And I still don't know how to get Mikey out of here. Mikey, there's an exit to the street behind that wall. I can't break down walls or carry you through them. Uh, so there's an exit behind this
this wall? All we have to do is break it down. Yeah, but Mikey, how are you gonna break down that solid wall? I don't know. Maybe I should try to break it with my rake. A rake? But you need them for leaves and trash. JJ, that's a very sturdy rake. Plus, the wall here is pretty rotten. Perfect place for a hole. Seriously? You just break down walls like that? You're a genius. Yeah, I'm surprised at how easy it was. And they spent a lot of money to buy locks and install bars on the windows. Yeah, they obviously didn't expect this from us. Now where do we go? We're going back to the orphanage. That's the only place where we can have a normal life. Uh-oh, I think I'm disappearing. What's going on? Oh my god, where am I? You're in the hospital, kid. We were able to save your life. Before that, you were in a coma. Now you are back in the world of the alive. Whoa, cool. And I thought I was completely dead. But I'm still gonna make it through this life. Hey, we managed to get you out of that world. Don't risk your life like that again. Okay, I'll try my best. Thank you, doctor. That's my job. Glad you're alive again. I'm actually surprised a man survived a bullet to the forehead. You're a very lucky man. Nobody would have survived but you. Now go home. I have a lot of things to do. Thank you again, doctor. You're the best. Bye-bye. JJ. Mikey. You're alive. I'm so glad. My little brother is bulletproof. But what are you doing here, Mikey? I didn't tell you I was in the hospital. I didn't realize I was here myself. JJ, I'm your brother. I would never leave you. Your voice is gone. And you thought I'd wake up in a hospital. That's smart. Yeah. Where else would you be? I don't think you'd still be lying in that store. You know anything can happen. It's good to be back together. Yes, I agree. One million zillion jillion dillion cotillion times later. Today is a big day. Uh, what day is it? Oh, Mikey, do you know what day it is? Today is a regular day off. Yeah. Why is this an important day for you? Mikey, it's all because a new video came out on this channel today. <gasps> Come down here. Okay, okay. Isn't that cool? That's mega cool, JJ. Oh. Because every video we make is a new adventure. Oh, Mikey, are you tired? No, I just decided to enjoy the world sitting on a bench. Huh, you're acting like an old man. Uh, JJ, that was a good joke. Hey, Mr. Humorous Mikey, appreciate my efforts. Cool. Haha, ha, very funny, JJ. Kids. Oh, hmm. Uh, can you usually hear me? Hmm. You both need to go home now. Well, your mom will be here soon. Come on. Well, shall we go? Of course. We have to meet mom properly. Come on, daddy's waiting. Okay, let's go. Hmm. JJ, let's give our mom a present. Oh, that's a good idea. <laughs> Dad, you're both finally here. Well, mom's finally coming back from her long business trip today. Oh. Did you both miss her? Of course, she's been gone for a month. How long before she gets here? Well, she's pulling up to our house. Oh, so she's close. Cool. Yeah. JJ, I miss our mom so much. Yeah, I miss her a lot, too. That's quite a long period of time she's been gone. What's taking so long? Well, it's her job to be away from home for long periods of time. Oh! Huh, I get the joke, Dad. <laughs> huh. Make jokes more often. Family, hi, everyone. Mom's here. Cool! I've missed you all so much, my dears. We missed you, too, didn't we, Mikey? Words can't describe how. It's great to hear all this from you all. You're the best. Yay! I've brought some interesting dishes for you all to try. Really? I'd like to treat you all to them, so please sit down at the table. Oh, my God! Mom, what's this? Have a seat at the table, and you'll find out. Oh, hmm. hmm. If mom says so, it must be something delicious. Yes, I agree. It really is something delicious and special. Oh, wow. Mom, where have you been? Well, where exactly did you go? Yeah. I was in Paris. Oh, my God. You didn't know? No, Dad. You didn't tell us where she went, so I'm very surprised. I thought she was in the next town over. Yeah, I thought so, too. I knew it all along. Dad, Family, uh, I'm all set. Oh. Mommy. Can I have everyone's attention, please? How curious. French breakfast, croissant, and eggs. Oh, my God. Sweetheart. Wow. This looks absolutely incredible. That's for sure. You're doing great. <laughs> Today is a special day. Day, our loving family is back together yes, again. I didn't even expect you to welcome me so warmly. Well, what else could it be, right, kids? Yay! Yeah! Bon appétit. Bon appétit, everyone. Oh, and bon appétit to you, Mikey. Wow, why does the croissant <laughs> taste so good? I think he's got cream on the inside. Honey, this French dinner is amazing. <laughs> oh, I'd love to visit France, too. Next time, we just have to visit France as a family. Really? Yeah, that could be organized. Uh, oh, look at that. It's completely dark outside. Yeah, I can't see anything. We've talked a little too much. Let's go to bed, kids. Wow, it's so late. I'd like to talk some more, too, but, But uh, it's past our bedtime, isn't it, Mom? That's right, Mikey. <laughs> I'm so tired. I'm tired, too, but we've had a good time at the table now, haven't we? Yeah, it was fun, Mom. Come on, go to bed. JJ, let's go. Let's go. My eyes want to close and not open until morning. Wow, are you that tired? I'm ready to fall asleep here right now. Oh. Kids, it's been so long since I've seen you. Oh, Mommy. I want to put you to bed like I used to. Wow, that was so long ago, I'd already forgotten. Mommy, will you tell us a bedtime story? If only we had more time. Hmm. Then I look forward to a story tomorrow from you. Huh, of course, Mikey. Well done, Mikey. Mommy, are you going away again soon? Oh no, JJ, I'm here for the long haul, so you don't have to worry. Cool! You too, my dear and beloved kids. Sleep well. Mommy, we love you. You sleep well too. Good night. Good night, Mommy. Oh, I'm so glad our mom is back with us. Yeah, I wish she'd never leave again. Yeah. Good thing she's here for the long haul this time. Yeah, Mikey, sleep tight. What a wonderful day it was today. <coughs>
Ah, it's morning. I'm up a little earlier than Mikey as usual. It'd be cool if he woke me up instead of me waking him up. Mikey, wake up! Ow! JJ, slow down. That was very unexpected and a little painful. Look, the sun's up. But we just went to bed. Huh, I know what you mean, but it's already time to get up. Oh, I could use a couple more hours of sleep. Why do people get up so much? I don't know. I wish they'd sleep till lunchtime. It'd be good for everyone. Yeah, that would be awesome. Too bad it will only happen in our dreams. Uh... Larks rule this world, not owls. This is so unfair. That's right. Good morning, Mommy. Good morning. Oh, you're awake now, my dears. Yeah. How did you sleep? Oh, I slept in. And I think it's wrong to get up in the morning. Huh. Well, a lot of people have a hard time getting up in the morning. It's normal. Oh! Wow! Honey, will you drive me to work? I'm very busy with work today, darling. Uh... I don't even have time for a full breakfast, so you'll have to drive to work on your own. Sorry. Wow, Mom, you gonna be okay? Yes, I can take the bus to work, so, uh, no problem. Wow, I get it. By the way, hmm. breakfast is ready, so you can go eat. I'm hungry. Thank you, Mom. Oh, you're welcome. Enjoy your meal. Yay! I gotta go. Let's eat. Mom, bye. Come home soon. Okay, I'll try to get back early. Bye-bye. Bye. JJ, it's certainly interesting with Mom. Mom, but we have an awesome breakfast waiting for us. That's right. We have some food left over from last night's dinner. Bon appétit, everyone. Bon appétit. Oh, I have the best family in the world. And my kids are just cute little sweetie pies. That's who's really going to help me when I get old. Oh, now I'm going to work a couple hours at work and drive back home. Hello, miss. Hello. <laughs> Your family will never see you again. I'm going to make this trip bomb for all of you. You will never forget this most terrifying moment in your life again. You'll never be able to go anywhere else. Whoa! <laughs> well, let's move on. Next stop, gas station. Oh, I have to drive so far away. Why does Speaker Man have so much work to do today? Uh, I don't know. Oh, I'm sorry. I wasn't talking to you. I told her there's no way my dog ate her newspaper, but she doesn't believe me. Can you imagine? This is so wrong. Uh-oh, it's a bit of a rough oh. road here. That's what I'm thinking. Uh. She could have just checked the mailbox instead of getting in my dog's mouth. So what if he had a piece of paper in his mouth? That doesn't mean anything. Wow, I think you should have just read the newspaper together, don't you? Well, she's a sweet old lady, but she's got a bad temper. You know what? I'm gonna try to negotiate with her after all. Thank you, sweet TV woman. Nice. Oh! Oh, TV woman should be coming home pretty soon. Finally! Let's all go out together when she comes. Wow, that's a great idea, Mikey. That's what we'll do. So where shall we go for a walk? I'd like to go for a walk to the zoo. Cool! Oh, or better yet, the aquanarium. It's very atmospheric. Yeah! There's a lot of beautiful fish and, uh... Oh, uh, and who might that be? Oh, hmm. Dad, is this phone call for you? No, I wasn't expecting any phone calls today. Uh, hello? Hello, is this speaker man? Yeah, what's wrong? It's about your wife. She's been in a serious accident, and her condition is extremely unstable. I'm asking you to come to the hospital as soon as possible. <gasps> oh my god! I got it, I'll be right over. Mikey, we're going too. Oh, hmm. Are you sure you want to go? Yeah, it can't be any other way. We're not leaving mom in this situation. Hmm. All right, let's all go together. Oh, great. I hope our mom is doing well. But I'm warning you, you'll have to walk fast. Don't fall behind me. Yes, Dad. Okay, okay. Let's hurry to the hospital. Hurry up! Dad, take a shortcut through the village. Oh, if we go like this, we'll get to the hospital an hour early. Great, JJ. Yeah! Two hours later. Q, we're almost there. JJ, hurry up. I'm running as fast as I can. Okay, we're here. Mommy, we're here. Kids, I'm going to go to the room first and check on your mom. Uh, and you two stay here and wait for me. But Daddy, we want to come with you too. Yeah, we're not going to be able to support our mom in the hallway. Oh! Hello. You may not argue. I think you all need to enter the chamber. Hey! For I have far from good news. Oh my God, is it really that serious? I'm really worried about Mom, Dad. Hmm. Oh, come on, everybody. Follow me. Okay. I'll tell you all about it inside the room. Uh, and what happened? I don't know. There's no point in guessing. Let's go to the room. Come on, if you're ready. Hurry up, hurry up. May our Mom be okay. May she be okay. Yeah, I wish it was all good. What happened to her? The bus she was riding on Mommy, was wake up! What? <gasps> Mommy can't hear me. How's she doing now? Can you fix her? And when she wakes up from that dream, I miss her. She's got a lot of damage. Oh, no. External damage we've repaired, but there's no way to fix the internal damage. No, it can't mean exactly what I think it means, can it? JJ, calm down. But I can't. Do something. Mommy, wake up. Let's all go home together. Please, Mommy, don't leave us. I can't do anything. We're losing her. No, please. Mom, let's go for a walk. Mikey, is there nothing more I can do? I'm afraid you'll have to say goodbye to her. No, Mommy. <laughs> <laughs> Mikey! I don't believe it. Uh... She's brain dead. Oh! There's nothing more I can do, even if I try really hard. Dad! I realize that nothing else depends on you, but that doesn't mean I won't do anything to myself out of grief right now. Oh my god! JJ, our mom's gone! I suggest you give her a proper goodbye. Great advice, doctor. Honey, I don't believe it. JJ, I'm confused. I don't know what we're gonna do anymore. I don't know either, Mikey. I don't know either. 
Mommy, you have always been the bright sunshine in our family's life. May this light never leave you in the next world, and we will forever remember you here. Dear, my favorite, kindest, and most beautiful TV woman, rest in peace. Your family loves you. Mommy, we will miss you so much. You don't come to us, we'll come to you. I'm so sad. It's raining hard, so it's time to go home. But Mom will be lonely without us. Let's stay here a little longer. I don't want you to get sick. Dad, please. We'll be here a couple more minutes, and then we're out of here. Okay, Daddy. Yes, Dad. What is going on anyway? I don't understand why they were saying all those things about me. They can't see me or something. Kids, are you all right? Yeah. Are any of you sick? Dad, we're fine. We're fine. Hmm. But are you okay? Uh, no, I'm not okay at all. Oh. I miss our mom so much. Yeah, I miss her too. We all miss her. Well. But we have to hold on. Yeah. So they're not we going to look into happen what happened to me oh, and why our at all. Family mustn't what break kind up of again. news we'll is that? Friends like never I before. don't agree. I'm going to have to help them out a little bit. I've got just the thing. That's one piece of evidence they certainly can't ignore. <laughs> We're friendly. Uh, wait a minute. What is this? What's up, JJ? Oh my god, it's photo proof. JJ, it's a skibbity toilet. Apparently, he's the one who attached the bomb to that very bus. The horror. Dad, we have to go to the police and tell them about this. Yeah, JJ. But what will they do? They will find the culprit and punish him. Yeah, we can't just forget about what happened. Let's hurry up and tell the police officer everything. Okay, let's go. No bad weather can stop our justice from being served, right? Yeah. JJ, let's hurry up. Hurry up, hurry up. I'm very sad, Mikey. Yeah, JJ, me too. Those skibbities should pay for everything they did to our mom. The police will use this photo to find who killed her. I've never seen our dad so sad. Yes, he's a little too confused. I'm not confused. I'm very angry. They'll be sorry for what they did to my wife. Okay, kids, let's go. Good afternoon. Is something wrong? Yes, my wife was murdered. The killer is in this picture. What? Show me that picture now. Okay, catch this. Well, well, well. We already know him. A repeat offender. He's been placed on home confinement. There he goes again. Don't worry, we know their address. I'm announcing plan forward. All patrols in the city will be sent to the location. Gather round, children, you're coming with us. Oh my god, what's going on? I don't know, maybe there'll be a shootout. Three hours later. Is this where our mom's killer lives? It's such a creepy, abandoned house. I don't like this place. Nobody likes it, kid. While we were on the road, the rapid response team busted this gang of thugs. Have you arrested them yet? Of course, we act fast. Let's go inside. So fast? Yep. I'm gonna kill you all! Just untie me! Shut ah! up! The decontamination operation was a success. I hate you, Skibidus. You killed my mom. Why? Care. What did I you do care. that for? I don't care! I don't care! We searched the whole house, and we found a magic potion. We don't know how it works. Magic potion? I think I know what it does. Give it to me, now! Okay, boy. I hope you know what you're doing. Thank you, officer. You're welcome. It's our job. You've been very helpful. JJ, how will this potion help us? I'll tell you on the way. We don't have much time. Mikey, Dad, follow me. Hurry up. Okay, JJ, let's go. Let's go! This should work. JJ, just explain it to us already. It's a resurrection potion. It'll help us get our mom back. She'll live again. For real? Will she live again? How do you know? It's impossible. Yeah, JJ, that's hardly possible, but we have nothing to lose. Okay, I'm throwing it. Hey, look, mom is rising from the grave. Mommy, you're alive. Hey, kids. Hi, my love. It's so good to see you. We are so happy to see you alive again. I thought I'd never see you again, darling. Me too. JJ, you saved our mom. You did a great job. Yes, JJ. Thank you so much. It's so good to have our family back together. We'll find another potion if we need it. Yeah, but hopefully no one else dies. I don't know. Every day something weird happens. Maybe someone else will die. I hope things continue to be great. Oh, what a beautiful sunny morning. I'll come home to my favorite family. I wonder what they're doing now. They're probably all playing together. I wish I could play with them. But I have to go to the store for food too. Hey, Chicky! You look so beautiful today. Do you want to have fun with me? I would love to lick your TV. Uh, I'm actually married. Come with me, baby. You're so rude. And what? Bad girls like bad boy. You're gonna love it, sweetie. <laughs> if you say one more word to me, I'll shove your head back where you came from. Disgusting toilet. I'm married. Get away from me. Married? Huh? It's no big deal. You'll be a widow soon. <laughs> Such a beautiful and screaming chick will be mine. It's time to take out her husband. Hey, everybody. Glad to see you all on our channel. How are you? Write about it in the comments. Hello, everyone. We decided to play a game of Monopoly. We're having fun here. Yeah, I'm winning now. Hey, everybody, by the way. I'm throwing the cue. One, 
two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven? So you're buying the factory. Well done, JJ. Kids, honey, I'm home. Oh, our mom came home from the store. Let's go meet her. Yes, let's go say hello to her. I hope she bought something tasty. She definitely bought something. Hopefully it will be burgers, or chips at the very least. So let's go down there and find out what she bought, and then we'll keep playing. Yay, we're gonna keep playing. It's cool that Daddy stopped watching TV. Mom, hello. Hi, Mom. Hello, my favorite babies. I hope you both behaved yourselves. I bought you some burgers. Hey, sweetie. Hello, darling. While you were gone, we played Monopoly with the kids. Yeah, I almost won there. Honey, you're so good for babysitting. Of course, they're our kids. They are such a cute couple. Mom, Dad, can we play outside? Mikey seems to want to. Yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah, that's a good idea. Go play. I'm gonna make dinner. I'm going to play with them. Okay, okay, no problem. Have fun. Thanks, Mom. We're going to the playground. What are we gonna play? Oh, I have a great idea for an outdoor game, if that's okay. How about football? Whoa, a ball. Let's play soccer. Yes, come on. That's a very good idea. That's great. Then let's go outside. What are you waiting for? Let's go. Let's go play, JJ. I'm on my way. I haven't played soccer in so long. So, kids, get in a triangle and take turns kicking the ball. Whoever doesn't catch the ball is a loser. Come on. Give me a pass first. Come on, Dad. Hit the ball. Okay, let's get started. Mikey, get ready to receive the ball. Come on, Daddy. Kick the ball. Mikey, catch it. Yes, I'll get him. What's your hurry, children? No! Nah! Oh, my God, Dad. You're so weak kicking the ball. Who else is going to lose here? Yeah. That's how you kick a ball, Dad. Study up. Yeah. Okay, I'm a little old for this kind of game. Papa. Here, that's better, Dad. JJ, catch the ball. I'll catch it. Hiya. That's a good shot. Now me. Daddy, catch it. Oh, I'm starting to get tired. Let's keep playing. Opla. I'm going to give you a kick. Hiya. Whoa, Mikey, that was far away. So Dad didn't catch the ball? Uh, I'm sorry, I kicked a lot. It's okay, kids. I'll be right back for the ball. Try not to kick it on the road again. It's not like some car is going to run over the ball and ruin it's it. It's okay, I won't kick the ball so hard anymore. Hey, Dad, there's a car behind you. Get out of the way, faster. I'm going to kick the ball, stand Dad, back. Dad, go away quickly, watch out, there's a truck. Ouch. Oh my God, a car ran over Daddy. What are we going to do? What a blind driver in a truck. Oops, that didn't go well. Dad got run over by a truck. Is he even alive? Let's go run to him. Dad, Dad, are you alive? Get up. It's just a truck running over your body. It's nothing. I think he's in pain. We should get mom and call an ambulance. Get up, daddy. Maybe the truck wanted to play soccer too. Maybe the driver wanted to kick the ball by his truck. What are you talking about, Mikey? Oh, mommy's coming. She's going to save our daddy. Kids, honey, what happened? What's wrong with him? Mom, he got run over by a truck. Some crazy guy was driving without stopping. Oh, no. Oh, my God. How? Why him? I don't think he's going to make it through this alive. We need to call an ambulance, the police, everybody. Sweetheart, I'm so sorry for you. No, 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 Dad, wake up. Don't die, please, wake up, please. Come back to me, don't leave me. Oh my God. Five minutes later. You know, the results so far have been disappointing. He has no pulse, broken ribs, internal wounds, and other not so nice things. We're doing everything we can to save him. He's already received first aid. We're hoping for the best, Doctor. I wish he'd live. My dear husband, please wake up. Kids, you heard the whole thing. We don't stand a chance. No, 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 Daddy, wake up, please. I kicked the ball into the road. It's my fault. I'm sorry to say this, but your husband is dead. We did everything we could. Time of death was recorded. A police officer will contact you for further action. Henceforth, do not run out into the road if you see a truck at high speed. I hope you are able to cope with this bereavement. You can bury the body tomorrow. Goodbye. Is our father dead? You mean bury the body? In a cemetery? Oh my god. They're taking our daddy away. I didn't even get to say goodbye to him. I'm sorry to say that. Children, you will now live without a father. He was a good man. We've conducted a thorough investigation at the scene. We're gonna prosecute that truck driver. What he did is punishable by years in prison. He's a criminal. Unfortunately, we can't find the driver because the camera on the pole wasn't working. But we'll check all the cameras on the following polls. Interview witnesses for what this truck looked like. Who was driving it? See if anyone remembers the license plate number. We didn't get the license plate number. We're starting our own police investigation. If you have any new information, evidence, or something that will help the investigation, give us a call. Goodbye. What other clues can we give him? It was just a rusty truck, that's all. There's nothing else. Still, I hope they find that criminal. Good always triumphs over evil, doesn't it? No, JJ. Life is unfair. Harsher. Life is harsh. It's not a fairy tale. I miss my husband so much. Why him? Listen up! We need to do everything we can to find this driver. He should be in jail. The next day. We miss you so much. We can't imagine our lives without you, darling. How will we be without you? Dad, I'll always be alive in our hearts. You were fun to play with. You were a cool dad. Goodbye forever. Daddy, I'm sorry about kicking the ball into the road. It was my fault. I've always loved you and I always will. Dear my beloved husband, I'll never forget you. I will always love you. You will forever remain in my heart. I don't know how we're going to be without him. Who do we play Monopoly or soccer with? Yeah, I'm going to miss him too. 
We've known each other since we were kids. We fell in love at first sight. We had such a good time all the time, and now he's gone. This is a tremendous loss for all of us, but we must move on. Yeah, you're right, Mom. I think he'd want us to move on. We'll come here often to check on him. Yeah, Mikey, you're right. We'll visit his grave every month to honor his memory. How well that went. Knocked out the cameras on the poles, tinted the windows so I couldn't be seen. Killing that dad was so easy. Ha ha ha, now I'm gonna be your daddy! What you wouldn't do to be with a pretty chick like that! I just need to get to know her better, and my plan will come true! I'm a genius! Moments later. You know, kids, I still can't get used to regular life without our dad. Me neither. I can't play, I can't watch cartoons, I can't eat properly. Yeah, Mikey, I know what you mean. All the regular stuff doesn't work without my husband. I have the same feeling. It's so sad. Doorbell, who could it be? I don't know, Mikey. Maybe it's a police officer came to tell me they caught that driver. Uh, I don't know. He calls so often. What a persistent visitor. Okay, we're gonna have to open the door after all. What the? Hey, hey, hey! What's up, baby? This lovely bouquet of flowers for you. It's as beautiful as you are. Mom, who's that? I'm your mommy's new boyfriend. What? What? That's not true. This is true, son. Do you want me to be your daddy? Get out. Get out of our house. I'll see you again. I'll call the police, you freak. He's just a crazy toilet. Honey, why are you doing this to me? I could have taken care of you after your husband. TJ, look, is that dad? Is that the spirit of our dad? Hey, kids. Good to see you all again. Let's go play on the playground again. Hello, darling. Let me talk to him. Honey, how are you? Are you a ghost? Listen to me, you disgusting poop-filled toilet. Get out of here and stay away from my family ever again. Go away, you stink of poop. Disgusting skibidi toilet. You're gonna pay for it. The bouquet costs money. Did I pay for it for nothing? This chick will still be mine. Hello again. Yes, I died, but I only became a ghost for seven days. I think we're gonna have a great time together. Honey, but how is that possible? I can't believe my eyes. My dad's a ghost, so cool. In these seven days, we're going to have a lot of fun. By the way, in that time, I have to find the man who killed me. Once we find him, you will tell the police so that the guilty party will be punished. Let's not waste time. Let's go play in the playground. I've missed you guys so much, you know. We really missed you too, Dad. I'm so happy to see you again. It's mutual, my dears. Let's go outside. Let's go. It's so cool that we can play with our dad again. It's just unbelievable. I'm gonna play with my dad's ghost. No one would believe me if I told anyone. There's some food left. She's been lying there for four days. I think we can eat it. Of course, it looks so appetizing. I'm sorry, but I can't eat because I'm a ghost, you know. Oh, that's right. Ghosts don't need to eat. Yeah, you're right, Mikey. Look, you can fly, can't you? Can you hold on to us in case we fall off that pipe on the playground? Of course I can. I'll catch you if you accidentally start falling. Nice. JJ, get in here. I was always afraid of falling from that height. Whoa, it's so high up here. Ha, Mom, look how high we're standing. Still, be careful out there, kids. It's okay, honey. So much fun. Let's stay here all day. We love you, Daddy. Yes, we love you very much, Dad. Four to six days later. You know, I don't know what to make for dinner. Cabbage or burgers? Of course, burgers. That's all we've been eating all our lives. Yeah, Mom, go make us some burgers. Okay, kids, we're having fast food again for dinner. Oh, that's just great. Well, I'm gonna go cook. Oh, Dad, hey, where have you been? I was in the process of finding my killer. Went through all the cameras on the road he was traveling on. He broke almost all the cameras, but he left one. This Skibidi toilet hit me with his car. This is the same toilet that came to see us a few days ago. Yes, that's him. We need to take this picture and take it to the police immediately. It's evidence. That's what the police officer told us, that we're supposed to help them if we find anything. Yeah, JJ, you're right. He's the one who rang the doorbell a few days ago. We're going to the police. I thought we'd never find him. Yeah, me too. So what are you waiting for? Go and put him in jail. Yeah, Dad's right. Let's drop everything and go to the police station. This is 100% proof of that disgusting toilet's guilt. He did it on purpose to start dating my mom. What a disgusting thing to do. That's right, it all fits. We didn't think so. I'm just shocked. How can you be such a disgusting creature? It's not even a human being, it's a stinking toilet. Hey, open up, officer. We have evidence of a crime. Yes, the evidence is accurate and true. Open it quickly. Good afternoon, officer. Hello, what brings you to me? A new crime? Robbery? Assassination? What happened? The thing is, we found a photo from the camera of the man who killed my husband. This is the photo. Take it. Well, well, well. We'll see. Ah, I recognize that toilet Skibidi. He's got a record for disorderly conduct. This is irrefutable proof of his guilt. We're going after him immediately to arrest him and put him in jail. Thank you for assisting the police. Good luck. Bye-bye. Phew, so glad that's all over. Justice will be served. What wouldn't we do without our daddy? He helped us and continues to help us from the other side of the world. Mikey still can't believe what's happening. We helped the police catch the culprit. 
<laughs> What's going on? Police? A police officer? Hello? Is something wrong? Yes, it was. You ran over an innocent man on purpose. You're a murderer. You're gonna rot in prison for the rest of your life. This is the 15th time you've broken the law. Shame on you. You're a murderer. Well, my family. While I was a ghost, I did all my chores. I protected you. I helped catch a criminal. The toilet that killed me. Yes, Dad. You and I had a lot of fun. I'm glad to hear that. JJ, watch your brother. Listen to your mom. Be a good boy. Honey, I love you. Now I have to go back. We love you too, Daddy. Goodbye, Daddy. You're the best. Bye, honey. Bye-bye. I love you. I will always love my family. Don't forget me. Bye-bye. We'll remember you. How epic is this? If I told anyone at school, they wouldn't believe me. We will always remember our daddy. We'll try to continue to be a good family. That's what he really wanted. Yeah, Mom, you're right. I'll be a good boy so I don't upset him in heaven. Everything in this world ends well, after all. You just have to believe it. Mikey's right. Believe in goodness and be good people. You know, Mikey, sometimes I feel like I used to be an adult. It's a really weird feeling. Um, what are you talking about? We've always been little kids. Maybe you dreamed it. Maybe so, Mikey. But I keep getting the feeling that our whole life is just an ordinary show with no meaning. Stop thinking about it. Let's go home already. We have a lot of very important things to do. We have to watch another endless SpongeBob cartoon. SpongeBob? I'm so tired of watching that cartoon. What else do you propose we do? I don't know. We should do something fun. Our rich parents parents forgive us all sorts of problems all the time. By the way, yes, we have very rich parents. I don't think they'd mind if we drove this car off a cliff. Wow, break this car down completely? That's a great idea. We could stick a bunch of TNT in there and blow it up on the flight into the pit. Yeah, it's definitely going to be fun. All we have to do is get our dynamite supplies out of the house. Won't our dad be upset? No, our dad is kind and never scolded us. Yes, our daddy is very good and kind. Okay, then let's go get some dynamite. Oh, children, hi. Hi, I have great news for you. You must be pretty tired from schoolwork, huh? Yeah, we're getting sick of this school. What's the good news you got? Maybe he'll give us his car. We're going on a sea trip on a big yacht. We're rich. We can afford it. We'll be swimming in the open ocean. Wow, that's cool. When are we going? Yes, I've wanted to go sailing for a long time. When are we going to go there? Yeah, right now. Get your stuff. Grab your swim trunks, shorts, and everything you need for the resort. That's cool. I want to swim with the dolphins. The Pacific Ocean is waiting for us. I can't wait to get there already. Pack your bags now. JJ, let's hurry up and pack. They might forget we're here alone, like in that movie, Home Alone. Let's go! By the way, Christmas is coming up. I wonder why it hasn't snowed yet. What kind of snow, Mikey? We're going to the sea. Forget your snow. Time to pack our toys in our suitcases. Why do we need toys at sea? There'll be no toys on the boat. Don't be stupid, Mikey. That's right. I'm gonna go pack up my toy stuff. Toys at sea are the most important thing to take with you. Yeah, you're right, JJ. You packed your stuff that fast? Yeah, you just didn't notice how fast I packed. Less talk and you'll get everywhere, JJ. Wow, Mikey, you're really fast. Let's get out of here. We have time to pack your bags. Don't worry, I'll let you use my stuff and my toys. Oh, that's cool. Thank you, Mikey. You're always helping me out. Oh, come on. You don't even need clothes at sea. A couple of t-shirts, shorts, and flip-flops. And toys as the most necessary things. I have them with me. Hey, Mom, Dad, we're all set. They seem to have completely forgotten about us. Maybe they wanted to go without us. Hey kids, what took you so long to get ready? We've been waiting for you guys. Wow, they haven't forgotten about us, Mikey. Who could forget such two beautiful boys? Those are some big suitcases you have. Yeah, there's some much needed stuff in there. It's not a big deal. We can fit a hundred suitcases like that in our car. Such a roomy trunk? Of course it is. I wonder when we're going to go. Oh, we're talking too much. Let's go. Pack your stuff in the car and get in. I can't wait to swim in the ocean. Okay, mom. We'll be right inside. JJ, do you think dolphins can bite a human? Probably not. Shark bite, but dolphins don't. I hope we don't see any sharks in the ocean. I hope so, too. But after what you said, I'm afraid to go in the water. Get inside already. Friends, would you like to swim in the open ocean? Write about it in the comments. And it's time for us to hit the road. Let's go. All right, everybody ready? Here we go. Let's go towards coral reefs and beautiful fish. Coral reefs? What is that? They are such rocks of dried algae. So the algae dried up and turned to rocks. Who needs these coral reefs anyway? Uh, well, they're beautiful. They're just pretty rocks. Stop talking about your boring rocks. Get out of the car. We're here. Kids, come on out. Why? Are we there yet? Where's the open ocean? Kids, you seem to have forgotten. We're going out on the open ocean on my yacht. We are very rich and can afford it. I wouldn't marry the poor man. What did you say? And where's our boat? Oh, there's our ship over there. Wow, it's so huge. It's like a replica of our toy ship, only a hundred times bigger. I would say a million times over. Isn't 
Isn't it a beautiful ship? Of course it's beautiful. I wonder how much a ship like this costs. I bought this ship for a hundred billion dollars. Yeah, it's a cheap ship, I'd say. A cheap ship? JJ, I've been working on this ship for 20 years. It's a very expensive purchase. It's only 20 years. Looks like our daddy got scammed out of his money. I agree with you, Mikey. I hope this wreck can swim. Stop buzzing me. It's not a trough. It's a superb and expensive yacht. A small boat. Hee hee hee. Okay, we're just kidding. Your jokes make me nervous. That's where the captain's cabin is. Yeah, it's cool. And here's a pool where you can swim and stay out in the open sea. Wow, a pool. We're gonna splash around. Let me show you the cabins on the boat. Okay, let's go. I have no idea what could be inside. Like mom said, this is where the captain's room is. This is where he steers the boat and looks at the monitors to make himself seem too smart. Wow, you have to be really smart to understand what it says here. Can we take the wheel? We're like real captains. Looks like our parents don't want to play with us. Yeah, they just want to give this excursion on the ship. And here is the billiards. You can shoot your balls in your spare time. And that's where your bedroom is. I hope we don't fall out of our beds when we sleep there. You're not going to fall anywhere. You can stay right here. We're going to the high seas. It's so nice here. We'll have our own pool table and our own private bedroom. I wonder where our parents will sleep. It doesn't matter anymore. Let's go look at our beds. Let's go. Well, well, well. For a wreck like this ship, that's pretty good. This green bed will be mine. It's like these beds were made for us. And this red bed will be mine. Not a bad room. It's missing a TV with cartoons. Two hours later. Hello, friends. We've already sailed far from shore. Mikey and I decided to go swimming in the pool. I can't swim. And over there, our parents are chilling while drinking delicious tropical cocktails. I wish I could drink one of those, too. But my dad says I'm too young for that. I wonder why we're not allowed to drink it. Because there is alcohol in the cocktails. Yeah, we're drinking hard while you're lying in this tiny pool. Looks like our dad's drunk again. I hope he doesn't do anything stupid. Hey, let's go swimming in the sea. It's much more fun. I don't think it's safe. He's drunk. He's allowed to be. Hey, who's drunk? Ike, I'm the soberest man on this ship. Honey, maybe you shouldn't jump. What are you worried about? It's not deep. I'm a great swimmer. Nothing will happen to me. He's drunk. And what? I have the right to swim here. Dad, don't. You could easily drown in this condition. Back off, all of you. I'm going to jump. There's going to be so much splashing. You're going to get wet. It's a very stupid idea, Dad. I'll jump with you. Let's jump jump together. Mikey, I forbid you to jump in there. Look how high I can jump on this board. I'm just like a frog. That's so cool. Hoo-hoo! Yeah, our father is a real drunk. Daddy, don't swim too far away. Have fun, honey. Come here. The water here is so warm and nice. This place is really cool. Swim here. I'm going to jump to you now. No, kids. You shouldn't be swimming in there. Daddy, don't swim so far away from us. It's dangerous. JJ, look. There's a shark swimming in there. Oh my god, there's a shark. Dad, get over here. What? I can't hear you. Turn around. There's a shark right Right next to you. It's gonna eat you. Oh my god. She spotted our dad. Swim back. You're in danger. I'm already swimming towards you. Oh my god. I'm so scared. She's already here. Give me your hand. I'm almost there. Oh my god. Boo 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 boo. Oh my god. She's dragging him down. How are we supposed to save him now? I don't know. We have to call the rescue squad. But we're on the high seas. They can't find us. What do we do? I don't know. It looks like our father is dead. What do you mean dead? An ordinary shark is stronger than a man. But our father is stronger. No, Mikey. We'll never see him again. So let's look at the bottom. Maybe he's coming back. No, JJ. He's not there. You know, it's such a stupid death. Mikey, don't say that. We gotta find our daddy. He's long gone from the surface. We have to go after him. No, Mikey. If you dive in, you'll be caught by the same shark. It's too dangerous. He wanted to ride that boat so badly, and now he's gone. Oh my god, Mikey. We're gonna live without a father now. Four to six days later. Even though he liked to drink, he was a good dad. JJ, you don't have to talk bad about him right now. You were a very good and loving husband. I will always love you, my darling. I hope you're in heaven right now. I miss you. Yeah, Dad. You were always a fun and cool dude for the rest of your life. That's why I respect you. You set an example for me that I shouldn't drink alcohol in the future. Thanks for the lesson, Dad. Yeah, my death was really stupid. I shouldn't have swam in that sea. Who knew there were sharks in there? Now, because of that stupid shark, my family is mourning over my grave. Oh, my God. What am I supposed to do? We are all so sorry to hear about our dad. Yeah, I feel sorry for him too. And who's gonna buy me the goodies? Not anymore, Mikey. I'm going to put 
these three roses up as a tribute to our dad. We all loved and respected our daddy very much. I'm kind of sad without my dad already. We will always miss him. The kindest, best, most understanding and brave husband has left us. Now that's a tough guy. He was a really good dad. I'm going home. You can stay here longer if you want. Yeah, our mom's really upset. We were all pretty upset. I can't imagine my life without our dad. Kids, let's go home. This place is too sad. I'm getting sick. Okay, JJ, let's go home. We won't be welcomed home by our dad anymore. No more of him playing with us, helping us, and so on. Yeah, Mikey, you're making me sad. Three hours later. There's our house. I don't feel like watching cartoons and playing with toys anymore. I'm depressed. I can't live without my husband. We all feel very bad without him. Yes, I understand all of you, but our lives don't end here. I'm sure he'd want us to move on and become good people. Our house is kind of empty. Everything seems to be in place. We miss our father back home. That's that's why it's so strange to be here without him. Oh, who's that ringing our doorbell? I don't know. I wasn't expecting guests tonight. Maybe they're some distant relatives of our dad's, but they didn't even write a letter. I don't like all this. What could happen? Calm down. Hello, I'm a bank agent. What do you want? Why are you here? Can I see the speaker man? He's in a lot of debt. He took a credit from our bank and didn't pay it back. What kind of credit? A credit for utility bills, for electricity, water, trash removal, and so on. If he can't pay the money, you should do it. But our father died. His debts have been inherited by us. What are we supposed to do now? You need to give this house to the bank. If you can't pay for it, we have the right to evict you. Oh my God, are we gonna be homeless? Move out immediately. Oh my God. Now where are we gonna find that kind of money? I don't know, but we should hurry up and pack our stuff. But we just got back from a boat trip. Packing up my stuff again. But we don't even know where we'll be staying next time. We're gonna live on the street, JJ. We have no money at all. But how could it be? Our dad was very rich. No one knows where he kept his money. That's the problem. Oh my God. Six months. Later. Whew. Good morning, everyone. I've long since gotten used to living in this newspaper house. It can get cold here, but at least we have a roof under our heads. Mikey, wake up! It's time for us to look for food again so we don't starve to death. And you sleep too much anyway. Good morning. I had a dream that we were living in an old and warm apartment with our dad. But we still live on the street. And no one gave us any food today so we could have a proper breakfast. Yeah, there's nothing in that box. And what do we do now? Oh, I think I got it. You Usually there's a little bit of food in the trash. Wow, rummaging through a dumpster? That's a great idea. Time for something tasty to eat. Maybe we'll get lucky and find a moldy burger. Or maybe even two or three burgers just right for the whole family. Where's the food? I'm so tired of living like this. Good morning, Mom. How's the food search going? There's nothing at all. I haven't eaten anything in two days. I've lost so much weight already. It's horrible. Don't be upset. We'll find something. We just need to put in more effort and we'll definitely get lucky. Yeah, Mikey's right. We need to work harder. Oh, what's that noise in the bushes? By the way, I heard something too. Could it be cats or other homeless people like us? Come out. Hello, family. Our dad's a ghost? Oh my God, you turned into a ghost? Yes, there is such a thing. Oh my God, is that even possible? We're running out of time. All my money is buried behind the front fence outside our house. Get it out and you'll be rich again. You won't eat from the garbage anymore. Can we go back to our house? Yes, you'll pay off all your house debts and you can live there again. Hurry up before someone else buys this house for you. Oh, Oh, that's awesome. It's all for you, my darlings. Thanks, Dad. You're the best. We're back to being rich. I love you, darling. He's helping us all out again. I wish I could continue to help you, but I have to go. I love you all very much. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, Dad. We'll always remember you. Our father got us out of such a poor life. We can eat normal food and sleep in a normal house again. Let's go dig up Dad's treasure. Yeah, we're treasure hunters. Whatever you want. I'm gonna go dig up the money. JJ, now we can afford to buy a bunch of burgers like the good old days. I'd eat a lot of food right now. Yeah, me too. Ugh. I'm so full, I can't fit anymore. Now we can eat like this every day. It's so good to be living in this house again. Better than living in a dumpster again. Yeah, I'd stay here forever. And what delicious food there is. Eat up, kids. Now we won't go hungry. You know, it might be nice to go to McDonald's tomorrow. Yeah, that's a good idea. Now you can go play toys in your room. Oh, that's right. Now we have our own room. It's really great, isn't it? Yeah, that's cool. JJ, let's go play. Let's bust a gut after a big lunch. I have a feeling this isn't a dream. No, JJ, I already had a dream like that today. You can't have the same dream twice. Mikey, that lightning can't strike the same spot twice. And I've had the same dream a bunch of times. Dream how I've been toying with you here. And that dream became reality, JJ. Yes. Five months later. What wonderful weather we are having today. Don't you think so, Mikey? I totally agree with you, JJ. Mikey, what are your plans for today? TV women and I agreed to meet at the park for a walk. That's just great news. You've been wanting to go out with her for so long. That's right. 
And today it's finally happening. Oh, they put new lights in the park. Did you notice? Yeah, I can see it. Used to be awful here in the evenings with no lights. I don't even want to imagine what went on here at night. What? What's that sound? It's the TV women planting flowers. Oh, TV women. Hi. Hi, JJ. Hi, TV women. Okay, JJ, we're going out, and I'll see you later. Goodbye. Bye-bye. I thought it was right. They're 100% right for each other. All right, JJ, we're out of here. All right, have a good walk. Well, I gotta think about what I'm gonna do today. Hmm, maybe I should get someone to take me out too? How about a uh, camera women? No way, there she is. We should give her a flower. Hey, camera woman, how are you? Hi, JJ, I'm good, thanks. This flower is for you. Wow, thank you very much. It's my pleasure. I wanted to ask you, do you have plans for tonight? I'm free all day today. You wanted something? Yeah, I wanted to ask you out. If that's okay with you, of course. Of course, I don't mind. I've been waiting to hear you say that for so long. I'm so glad. Then I'm off to pack. I can't wait to meet you. See you tonight. Me too. See you tonight. My dream has come true. I'm going on a date with a camera woman. Guys, what do you think I should get her? Something to make her happy. Oh, it's a flower store. I'm gonna go pick out the most beautiful and gorgeous bouquet of flowers for her. Is anybody here? Good afternoon. Can I help you with something? Hi, I need the most beautiful bouquet of flowers from this, this, and this flower. Is that possible? Of course you possibly can. It would cost exactly two diamonds. No problem. Here's your two diamonds. Thank you for your purchase. Here, take your flowers. They're just beautiful. Thank you so much. I'm glad you like them. Have a nice day. Thank you, and you have a good day. Guys, do you think I can win her heart? Write your guesses in the comments. JJ, it was the most beautiful date, especially when we watched the sunset. I thank you for tonight. Why don't you come over to my place? I'm glad you liked everything, but I still had plans today. Why don't we meet tomorrow? We can make dinner together. Okay, JJ, let's do that. Then come back early tomorrow. I'll be back after work and we'll start cooking. How about that? Good idea. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye, JJ. Thanks again for this evening. Bye, my dear. See you tomorrow. Guys, did you enjoy our date with the camera women? The next day. I got here a little earlier than I planned, and I'm almost done with dinner. I just have one last chicken to cook, and it's done. The woman's camera's running late. I should call her. Sorry, I can't take your call. Please leave a voicemail after the signal. Hey, it's JJ. I'm almost ready. So, I'm waiting for you. She's not answering her cell. Maybe she's still busy? Oh no, it's a camera women car. It can't be. What happened in there? Good day, dear viewers. Today, at 2 o'clock in the afternoon on Harrowbrine Lane, there was a serious accident caused by the malfunction of a yellow car. One victim has been reported. It was a young camera woman. This is your correspondent, Alan Volker. Oh, what? Oh, no. How could this happen? I can't believe it. It can't be true. No. And I was going to propose to her tonight. I have to go and find out. Maybe she's still alive. What? I hear an ambulance siren. Here comes the ambulance. Is this really happening? No, no, no. It can't be. I don't believe it. Hi. Are you Mikey? Yeah, it's me. I'm sorry for your loss. You can have your girlfriend's body. 
Oh no, darling, it's a true. Then I'll take sheep and put it right here. Okay. Oh my God. Sorry for your loss again. And I'm off. I've got a lot of work to do. My darling, I still can't believe what happened. How I wish I could talk to you now. I miss you so much. I had planned tonight perfectly, but I'm always unlucky. JJ, JJ, it's me. Mikey, what are you doing here? I saw on the news about camera women, but I didn't believe it. Yes, it's unfortunately true. That's just awful. I'm sorry for your loss, JJ. I knew you wanted to propose to her. I'm so sad. If you need any help, don't hesitate. JJ, speak up right away. Thanks, Mikey, but I don't need anything right now. I just want to be alone. I understand you. Here, take this in memory of her. It's a cameraman titan suit. Wow, Mikey, you're giving it to me? Thank you so much. I will keep him safe and take care of him. Okay, JJ, I'm glad you liked him. Again, I'm sorry for your loss. I'm gonna leave you alone. Bye, Mikey. Thanks for your support. Huh. I should try this costume on, honey. I wanted you to see this when I put on my new suit. For you sake, I became a cameraman, a titan. And I will wear this suit until I forget you. I should bury my loved one, and I'm gonna do it right behind my house. We should get a shovel and go pick out a grave site. I still don't believe it. It's kind of crazy. I think this place will do just fine. Two hours later. I can't believe it, guys. The camera woman is no longer with us. It's time to say goodbye to you. I love you and will love you. Too bad it happened so soon. Very sad that we never got to meet camera woman, but I don't think she'd want us guys to be upset. We have to be strong guys, as strong as camera woman and not cry. I guess she didn't want us to suffer. Uh, I think I need to get some sleep. Sleep should help, and tomorrow I need to think about new plans. Maybe I'll go to the base of the Skibidi toilets and destroy them. I think that's what camera woman would do. Good night, guys. I'll see you tomorrow. The next morning. <sighs> I finally got some sleep. Uh, what? This can't be happening. Camera woman, is that you? How is that possible? You're a ghost now. I can't believe it. JJ, I couldn't leave without saying goodbye to you. Say goodbye? But me and the guys don't want to let you go. I love you, camera woman. Please, stay with me. Don't leave me. Together we can save the village from the Skibidi toilets again, and someday we'll have babies. That's really great, JJ. And I really want to stay, but that's fate. Ghosts can stay among the living, so I need to go to heaven. No, stop! Camera woman, you can't leave me. I'll figure something out so we can be together. 100% there's another way for us to get back together. Camera woman, come back. We should check outside. Guys, I don't think it could have gotten that far. Hey, camera woman, where are you? Don't leave me. We'll find a way to get you back. JJ, I'm so sorry, but you have to let me go. No, stop. There's another way. We can save you together. You don't understand. But if a person dies, his soul leaves him and goes to heaven. I can't be a ghost forever. I'll disappear anyway. Well, wait, if you're a ghost and a ghost is a human soul, there's got to be a way to get your soul back into your body. Stop, JJ. Look how beautiful it is. Yeah, why are we here? It's so beautiful. I love this place. And I want to spend my last moments in this world here with you, JJ. Oh, okay. I'm sorry, but I'm really going to miss you. JJ, I will miss you very much, too. I will also miss the village, my favorite house, and even the Skibidi toilets, because I won't be able to kick their ass anymore. I love you, camera woman. I love you too, JJ. Goodbye. Goodbye. We'll see you again someday, JJ. I love you. I'll definitely come in your dreams. Uh-huh. Yeah, that's it, guys. She's gone. But I think there's bound to be some potion or magic that can bring back camera woman. Yeah, I will definitely find a way to bring camera woman back. And I can marry her. We'll have kids and a family and be happy together. Six months later. The ring. The only thing that kept me going was forward. A reminder of the most amazing and beautiful woman on earth. Six months ago, I made a promise to myself that I would find a way to give this ring to a camera woman. All right, guys, I did it. Finally, after all this time, I've invented a potion that will resurrect camera woman and we'll be together again. Having come a long way, having read hundreds of books, having overcome thousands of Skibidi toilets, I was able to find the formula and create this potion. Now, I'll use it and be able to resurrect Camera Woman. As I understand it, in order for this potion to work, I need to go to Camera Woman's grave and throw the potion right into it. For me to succeed, 
You need to subscribe to the channel and put a like. Let's save Camera Woman together. So, uh, so what? Camera Woman didn't show up. Are you guys sure you subscribed and liked it? Ah, looks like the potion didn't work. JJ. What? I'm here. Hey. It worked. We were able to resurrect Camera Woman. How did you do that? Oh my god, it's so good to see you again. It doesn't matter how I did it. What matters is that you're finally alive. And now I can say, Camera Woman, will you be my wife? What? Are you serious? Yes, I'm serious. Wow, it's so beautiful. I agree, JJ. I'll be your wife. Ha! That's great news. Shall we invite our subscribers to the wedding? Yes, of course. They were just as worried about me as you were. You guys heard the whole thing. You're invited to the wedding. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Stay tuned for more videos. It's only going to get more interesting.